It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. <laughs> Wax is here. I missed the whole thing, so you guys yo. can retell me. What happened? What I missed the whole about? thing with the language and everything this like that. Nothing even happened. Huh? <laughs> Huh? No, I what like is your tour. Thing? Your tour is going great. My tour is amazing. I, I, I love it. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> you talked yes. about the tour this early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 church announcements. That's for church announcements. <laughs> church announcements. Well, let me, we do got a pre roll. No, this though. episode has been brought to you by Squarespace. Yeah. Squarespace. From websites and online stores. Man, I had a good ass joke, but I didn't know the name of the fucking website. What's that website where you learn languages? Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone. Yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> this one. <laughs> This this episode has been brought to you by Rosetta Stone. Hold Star. on, that's the second pre roll. Okay. This is the first okay. one. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all in one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. Unless we do have another pre-roll sponsored to you by Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone. For Wax. when you and your significant other have your own language. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why this is a bad thing. This is a compliment. Therapy. If you and your girl yes, therapy. have your own language together, you guys can communicate. Yes. We do. And the okay. language is called Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm learning, learning a lot of Puerto Gavis? Rican. I'm learning a lot of Spanish. Spanish. Spanish my yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know, bro. Like, yeah. come on, man. It's the brilliant idiots. I apologize to all the Puerto <laughs> Ricans. I, I, and I really Spanish call it Puerto like, Rican, too. <laughs> <laughs> But don't you understand that Puerto Ricans I thought it was have, Puerto Rican patois. This is not it, it is, kind of. Okay. Yeah, Puerto Ricans have a different language than, than Mexicans. They no. don't have the same thing. They have the same language. No, they don't. It's called they Spanish. Speak, speak. Alex, the, is this true? Alex is slang. Puerto Rican. It's, it's, different. The, it's the same, but there's some slang with All right, so you Puerto mean Rican. like Jamaicans and, and Americans? Yes. Yeah. Actually, even okay. closer, like Canadians and Americans. Yeah. Okay. Probably like uh, South Africans and like what, whatever different tribes and stuff over there. Because South Africans, a lot of South Africans speak like six, seven languages. So it's like yeah. Zulu and... They just speak Spanish. Who? Puerto Ricans. Yeah, that's it's it. not... They, oh, they don't have about their Africans own now. tribe. They don't have anything. It's just that? fucking Spanish. That's all it Puerto is. Puerto Ricans do have their own tribe. Say again? They do have their own tribe. What yeah. is it? Terror Squad. Uh, who else? <laughs> <laughs> See, the Yankees. You know what I'm saying? Salute all the Puerto Ricans with their own tribes so, out there. So what happened? You uh, explain this. So you have your own language with your girl. And I don't understand why this is bad. Usually this is like a beautiful thing. Yes, I think there are going to be girls listening like, why Wax, I have my own language with my girl? Wax sat in that chair and he's talked about something because he wants to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Yes, nothing. you do. This is before the show. You, no, God it wasn't. Anybody. You knew we were recording. I didn't know we was recording already. What's All going right, on? All right, Alex, play back what we recorded earlier. <laughs> Either play back what we recorded earlier, or you can but talk about it right what's now. What's wrong with this language? It's, what's it's the listen, language? Charlamagne have a problem, man. He always gets me in trouble. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, I, I'm going to say it on trouble. here, baby. I'm going to say it. Fuck it. Charlamagne gets me in trouble. How? Me, we all cool. Guy, cold days, MTV, Carly, everybody know we all everybody's cool. We was so, at the 9-11 benefit concert this past Saturday yeah. that um, our guy Pete Davidson and John yes. Stewart put together for Dope. the families of the uh people who lost their lives in 9-11. Great cause. Yeah, really, really Great funny cause. too. Yeah. First responders, firefighters, yep. Yeah. So we in a video, Charlotte, I asked Carly if she vaxxed, if she like vaxxed the wax and whatever. And Charlotte put the post up. It was cool. And at the bottom of the post, it says. Wax and Carly have their own language. Oh, I thought Carla was Carly. <laughs> Drop the A, put the other vowel. That's well, sometimes Listen, don't even do that. Yeah. Now I understand why it's a problem. What? You can't have your own language with another girl, yo. A E I O U N, sometimes why? But why would he say that, though? <laughs> yeah, you can't. What do you yeah. mean? That's fucked up, Wax. Why would you still keep a language with another girl? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'll be honest, like, I think it was nice of you to bring it up because now... Oh, yeah, put it out there for yeah, everybody. Now so you cool. can change your ways. You out here speaking a whole different language with another girl? What language do you no, speak with I your girl? As a vac. You I just did, speak I in Spanish? Know, I didn't you haven't even people. learned your girl's language yet. I did. You learned Spanish? I'm being a whole lot of fucking give us Spanish. A, give us a sentence right now. Right now? Yes. What is the thing you say most in Spanish? Lo right siento. Now, go yeah. get leche. What? To tell my son go get milk with his go. mommy. Oh, leche. Leche. Leche yeah. is milk? Yeah. Yeah. That's a silly name for milk, you don't think? Nah. Leche? Leche. Leche. It's better than milk. 
You think? Leche. Yeah. Leche. Don't you want some? Leche? I would think it in Puerto Rican, it'd be like um, some flair to it. It'd be like, go Vamanos, get milk. 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 You know what I mean? It would just be the English word. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Americans, we're the most arrogant people For on no the planet. For no reason. Yeah. We really are. <laughs> we're really the most arrogant. Yo, Why no does it reason? Don't sound like my shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our shit ain't even slapping, bro. Our shit ain't even ours. No, exactly. It's That's English. That's English. It's English. English. That's right. The slang slaps because we make shit up. But Puerto Rican, Spanish people, they all sound better than us. Mm. Um, Geechee Gullah to me sounds better than us. Yeah, they I just, I just think other languages sound better than English, bro. Other languages are Even easier. the UK sounds better than America. Pause. Come on. No. Stop. Come Stop. on, You're acting bro. crazy. Come Americans have the best something. version of English, bro. Yeah, it's not even so. close. We, we, we just like nah, UK be slapping. Now we nah. like zero, How do you zero. hit on a girl in the UK accent? All right, if <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got some nice legs, don't you? That's hard. That's it. No, nah, it's not. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I'm not there yelling that at you. That dries a girl up real quick. Get yeah, out try, of here. Let me, let me hear her yelling at you. Uh, What's the UK oh, cat call sound you, like? Why are we cheating on me last night? What's the UK cat call sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mighty! <laughs> Care for some fishing chips, Leia? <laughs> Leia? <laughs> you can't slap, bro. You carry it, light. What should we do about that? No, it's, nah, it's, you can't be sexy in that it's shit, It forms bro. of English. No. I love New Orleans no. accents. Okay, go. Peace. I just love them. Just the way they talk. I love Baltimore accents. The way they scratch the U. Nah, nah. That shit sounds crazy. I love that shit, Nah, that shit's crazy. No, I that, love that, that shit. They talk too long. Get like, you Gullah and Charleston. I love we it. fast. You can't yeah, play around Washington, with us. Washington. Washington. I want to go to Washington, D.C. Boston, Boston is Boston, nah, Boston is cool. trash, too. You think Boston's, Boston's trash? trash too. The Get accent's the trash. For dudes, it's dope. It's a great working class accent for dudes. Like what it makes mean? great movie characters and TV show characters, but for girls, it's rough. It's a rough accent. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah, breaking my saying. hat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't break your hat. You How do you broke break my a hat, hat Charlie? How do you break a hat? <laughs> you didn't call me back yesterday. You broke my hat. Yeah, he sounded like Carly a little bit. Carly not from Boston. Maybe though. that's the language you and Carly were talking. No, Listen, Carly no. and Wax do have their own language. You though. can only be sexy in I American English. Have, that's it. I shouldn't have said vax. I should have said vaccination. No, that's but you didn't say. Me. No, why can't you say yeah. vax? That's the word. Yeah. First of all, we talking about Carly Aquilino. Yes. Carly's hilarious. Carly and Wax, they they talk their own language. They back there talking. He just Wax, he's he just driving it in. No, Wax, y'all know I've been in therapy. Oh, that's the thing. Anything else giving pushback? Carly's hilarious. hilarious. Wax, you know, I've been doing a lot more money in therapy. That's good. Cause of this shit. Cause of what? <laughs> Yo, you over here keep saying stuff like this. This is going to come back into our therapy class, and I know class. it. Class. It is class for me. <laughs> Why? Because Carly and listen, Carly Aquilino. How long we known Carly? Ten Forever, years. Yeah. That's At what least. I'm saying. It's like, long. so long. We known Carly. Carly's. That's girl code, guy and code back in the wanna, day. Nobody, no girl want to hear that. Uh, you know Would your wife want to hear that? She wouldn't want to hear that I had such an intimate connection with another girl that I met in my own language. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I can see why you say that. I ain't that. never throwing you alley-oop again. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but no, the funny part is Wax got his young Miami on. Period. Period. Just period. period. You didn't even hear the finish. Just let the sentence finish first before you end it with a period. But I mean, all they did was talk about Wax said, are you vaxxed? Mm-hmm. Polly said, yeah, of course I'm vaxxed. And she's like, wait, did you say vax or wax? It was loud in there. Mm-hmm. That's all. The other shit was funnier, though. Bro. What was the other shit? Because <laughs> said, I'm gonna have to go Wax said something to about therapy. not being vaxxed, and Carly was like, "Why? Let me guess. You're afraid of the microchip where they gonna follow you, the Tim store." <laughs> <laughs> That's, good. That's funny, Charlemagne. I didn't tell Carly I said anything else. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> therapy, baby. I got therapy this week. I get it. That was it. That you said that, that was the only time you that talked was, to her. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Man, stop. Salute to Carly, though. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. Smile. That 9 11 benefit concert was fun because I didn't know it was going to be a comedy show. Oh, what'd you think it was? I literally thought people would just host it. I didn't know. I'm be honest with you. Yeah. I didn't know what it was. I had no idea. I didn't even think about it. It is so stupid because I'm looking at the lineup <laughs> and it's all comedians. And what do you think they were going to do? I had, yo, Andrew, when oh, I say I had no idea, I stories? had no idea. Because <laughs> yeah. people was like, I want you to introduce uh, Colin, Colin Joss. Colin Joss. Colin Joss. Colin yeah, Joss, yeah. right? Yeah. And I was <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> I, 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 I didn't understand what you, was going listen, on. You bro. are one of the most prolific speakers in, of our generation. And there are times where you say things and I'm like, I don't even know if he speaks English. 
Because <laughs> no. English is trash. No. I've been no. in my own language. You went Geechee on that one. <laughs> Jost. How do you pronounce it? Colin Jost. Jost. Yeah. yeah. And my girl said, he know what the hell he writing. He write books, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. She's like, so he knows what the hell he doing. Why did he write that? No one. I didn't getting... know it was gonna be a big deal. You and Colin speak your own language. Go with Carl. Go with the uh, Colin. Oh no, but I did. I got you know. He told me he wanted to introduce Colin. I didn't know what was going on. I really didn't know what it was. We get there. I'm like, damn, the garden is packed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is a really show. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a show. And then when we get there, I'm seeing he people on names. stage. Carlin went first. Mm -hmm. Then I think Jay Farrell. And I don't know why in my mind I thought they were just giving speeches. I because I'm thinking it's 9-11. <laughs> So I'm thinking everybody would be up there like telling like uh like like sympathy yeah, not sympathy type story. Yeah, why, where you was at. Why would anybody go to that? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know what I was thinking. Yeah. I didn't know we if it was an it? honor. I didn't know if they were tr uh, honoring the firefighters. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. And I'm like, hold up, they going for it. These yeah. are like oh, they going real for it. jokes that's like, hold up, so this is a comedy show? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna stay a little longer. Which I did. And we had a good time. I stayed. It wasn't tough. flying. It was hitting people. You know, how oh things was a fly pad. These motherfuckers. Oh my god! I, 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 we <laughs> left after David Tell. It was David Tell, and I think David Tell and Bill Burr was the last two for the first half. And they had to take an intermission after Bill Burr. Yeah, he's a Bill he's Burr a ain't different, playing. different animal. Bill Burr man. ain't playing. Bill Burr is to white people. <laughs> no, Bill Burr is the white women. What Paul Mooney was to white people. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know what I say? I, I say he's a a, a white T K Kirkland. That yeah. TK go after it. Mm. He was he was going after it. Yeah. No, he is. What about Cat? Oh, that's good. I ain't seen Cat in a minute, man. Yeah, nah, I but think Kat about old Cat. Nah, I don't think he like Cat. He, he I don't think he's like Cat. Guts, man. Yeah, he I don't was... think he's like Cat. <laughs> yeah, Bill. Bill is more like Paul Mooney, more like TK, because TK really TK goes after women, right? Yeah, but yeah, in a, yeah, yeah. a lesson type of way. In a lesson type of way. Not even yeah. like Burr. Burr goes after women like, I don't fuck with y'all. Especially you white women. <laughs> okay? Y'all are y'all are ruining the earth type shit. Yeah. Like, for real. Yeah. And it's actually, yo, it's just refreshing to see. It's refreshing to see that kind of comedy it is. <laughs> this is great. Every episode I say bitch, he's like, you still saying that word? Well, he, don't say, he, don't, he, don't, he don't say that. What? I paid attention to that. Uh, he don't say that. What does he say? He doesn't say the B word. I, I didn't hear him say it. Shit. He didn't this say the B lying, bro. He didn't say it. the only time he said the B word was when he was talking about how the women on Real Housewives talk to each other. He, okay, I never heard bitches. him. Yeah, I never heard him call, refer to a woman as the B word. His whole twenty minutes set. The only time he used the B word is when he was talking like the women from the Real Housewives mm. in the reality shows, mm. and, he, and that's when he used. It. Other than that, I didn't hear him say the B word. Mm. I thought it was very respectful. I didn't and, even know who he was. He's really good. You know who Bill Burr was? I don't know these people. Oh, he's amazing. Nah, he's he's a beast. He's, he's a, a fucking he's a amazing. He's a beast. Man. But I mean, it's just it's just good to see it's just good to see that type of comedy. And man. you got to see David Tell. Definitely, David Tell. And was you didn't a beast. know who David Tell was. I knew who Tell was. Oh, you did. I just never I just never saw his stand up. David, I know who he was. I mean, yeah. just because he's a you know a legend in the New York comedy scene. Like I feel like I've yep. always heard his name since he's like I moved here. The the ultimate comics comic. Like if you ask the comics in New York who their favorite comic is, they're gonna say David Tell. If you ask them who they think the best comic is, they're gonna say David Tell. And yeah. a lot of people now, like earlier generation, he had this like crazy popular show on Comedy Central. He did specials and that kind of stuff. But this generation, like younger, they might not be as familiar with him. Mm -hmm. But um. Like if you see him live, especially in like an intimate environment, like there's nothing like it, bro. Shit, he crushed the garden, and that oh, shit yeah. was back. He's a pro, man. He's no, he's a pro. he could do yeah. anything. But there's something really special with seeing him at like the cellar. Like when he's fucking on, it's nothing like it. It's nothing like. I just it. like asshole shit. I know y'all all like competitive, but I heard one of the guys say like, "Yo, he still get butterflies. He's still nervous." Like, oh every, yeah, everybody does feel like that. Yeah, you perform at the garden, you're gonna feel some nerves, like. Nerves are good. Nerves are what you, I don't 100%. know. For me, nerves are what I do it for. Like, right. I like I like feeling it. You know, I, I don't want to be too comfortable. I want to be nervous enough where it's exciting, and I want to be comfortable enough where I can say whatever the fuck I want. And that's like the balance, trying to mm -hmm. find that fucking balance. Right I think there. it's the difference between nerves and uh, anxiety. Because I used to always say you can have good anxiety, you can have bad anxiety, but whatever you choose to call it. Like, yeah. if you're walking on stage at the garden, yeah, yeah. and it's... 20,000 people in front of you. If you don't feel like something, it. I'm going to be like, are oh, you a fucking yeah, sociopath? What's wrong with you? Yeah. You're supposed to feel something in your Even if it's not the yeah. garden anywhere, if you walk on stage and there's 4,000 people in front of you, you should feel something. Yeah. The anxiety comes from when you're just sitting around and all of a sudden you feel that yeah. shit. Like, Every what the fuck is game going I on? Felt something. Every yeah. football game I felt. But if, really I, if I didn't, to you. no, because yeah. some of them I didn't. I was like, where is that extra feeling? That, that's, I think that's just adrenaline yeah. running through your body like that. So, you know wait, did you bring up Colin? 
No, I you, didn't want to go on stage. Oh, okay. Because I was just like, I was I was like, yo, because I, my, my mind, I'm like, bro, y'all, like, do y'all thing. Like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a comic yeah, night. Yeah. You didn't want to do it. I didn't want to disrespect the stage. I almost went up there, though. Because a lady, I don't know who the that fuck she so thought stupid. I was, y'all. I don't know who she thought I was. I was standing there. She was like, okay, so you have to introduce this person. You have to do this. And I'm over there like, all right. She was like, okay, so they about to go up next. So stand by the stage. I'm like, who the fuck? I, I put my mask. You know who I am? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come no, she on. said you were Carly. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the lady said. The lady was Michael Jackson. The lady was Michael Jackson. No. I'm like, who can she even think that I, who do I look like? I did like? hear the lady say that though. She's like, okay, you're up next. I'm like, huh? I'm like, I'm going to go up there, but I don't know what the fuck to say. I'm just going to be like, I don't know why I'm up here. They told me to come up here. It was fun. I don't know. Shout, shout but I can't out. do what y'all do. It's not unbelievable. The things that y'all do is it's, crazy. It's, it's amazing. I will never, ever in my life. You can't disrespect the artist stand up. Nah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like you're playing one on 20,000. <laughs> yeah. Yo, straight up. Literally. Like, you can't, like, you can't and disrespect. And we want to boo you. We want you, Corny, because I think nah. Corny is so funny. I love it. That's the thing. That That is a different... That's a different dynamic. Like a like a black show, that's what you enter. Yeah. And the Apollo really set that. Because the Apollo boo, created this environment they, where like, they're going there to boo. So yes. you got to win them over. But like usually stand-up is yeah. people want to have a good time. They're paying money so they can laugh, not so they can yeah, boo. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of funny too. Bill caught some boos though. Yeah, but they're like purposeful boos. Yeah, they're, 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 they're saying yeah. it so that they that's boo, right. and then right. he'll come over the top, that's and right. then everybody laughs, that's and right. you break that's the right. top. Right. Oh, I don't care what right. you say, fuck you. Exactly. Sometimes you gotta like <laughs> establish that, you know? Sometimes yeah. you gotta let them know that you don't care. That's what the show's gonna it's be. It's like, what's your crossover? What's your jump shot? You, yeah. know, you gotta do something like that. That's kind of dope. If, like, if you really look at, at, at comedy, I don't know, I always try to look at comedy outside of just like the words exchange, but like choreography. It's like it's really kind of like a dance, as corny as this might seem, mm -hmm. but like it's an energy exchange, you know? And mm -hmm. like just because they're giving you what's perceived as negative energy, it doesn't mean it's negative. They're giving no. you something so you can hit that back. It's like a baseball, it's like a, a pitcher throwing you something, mm -hmm. right? They could throw you something slow, you could hit that out, out of the park. They could throw you something fast, you could hit that out of the park. As long as you do something with the energy that's given, mm -hmm. you could flip that. Comedians you know? treat the stage the way people should treat life. And what I mean by that is like, if you get on that stage and you say something, right? You're only, you, you know you're probably gonna get a laugh, mm -hmm. but you might be saying something knowing people are gonna disagree with it. But you're fine with that because that's your bit. Mm -hmm. Like when Bill Burr was doing certain jokes, you he knows he's going to get a certain reaction. Yeah, like it might be a boo, that. it might be a laugh, it might be a <gasps> shock and awe. He don't give a fuck because he's getting to his point. Yes. And that's how we all got to be with our opinions. But You but, can't be afraid to put your opinion out there and have somebody disagree with you. Yes, but in order to have like true mastery, you have to be able to like react according to that energy. If I'm just having a conversation with you and you're not paying any attention and you're completely toned out, but I keep talking to you, Anybody watching that is going to feel really uncomfortable because yeah, 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 I'm yeah. giving so much and you're not giving me anything. Yeah. yeah. But if I'm talking to you and you might not even be saying a single thing, but you're just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, and you're really locked in, people could listen to that conversation because right. they're like, fuck, okay, yeah, he's locked in, I got to be locked in. And yeah. I think that's stand-up. Like, in its essence, like, you have to get the jokes down. You have to get all these other things. It's like, you know, working out. You have to understand, or playing football. You have to know how to work out. You have to have your cardio. You yes. have to have all that. But at the end of the day, there's a rhythm to the game. Absolutely. Yes. And some people, like, look, I think they say this with football, like, they have, like, game speed. Yes. Or something oh, like that. Sure. They're like, for they just sure. understand the rhythm of the game. They understand mm -hmm. the angles. Mm -hmm. Some shit you won't even be able to teach them. You know, no, like, right. no coach That's is going right. to be able game to teach play. you. That's even, even when you get in the head, if she's not like if this, the, I'm not saying nothing at all. She'd be like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" If we wait, what? Like if you're not saying nothing at all, like a girl gave you head, you're not like. I thought we still talking about football. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? What do you say? What do you say when you get in the head? What? I mean, you try to motivate. Like what? Tell me. You just come moans and stuff. You say something. How do you moan? How do you moan? I don't know. You got to say you something. A you you got to mo You got to motivate. So, Herman. You, so hold on. So you Herman. sit there. So you sit there and be quiet while you getting head. I want to be moaning. I want to know. You got to motivate. What I accent do you moan in? <laughs> you speak Spanish. Carly, you speak Carly language when you get head. Hey, mommy. Ay, get the leche. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell. You gotta have some motivation down there. I wanna know what you say. What do you say, man? Yo, what do you How do you moan, bro? How do you moan? He'd be like, oh, wax the vax. Why you keep doing that? Come on. I feel like he moans like DMX. He don't even moan. He just goes, 
<laughs> Wax so silly, he probably started naming the girls' names. Keisha. <laughs> yeah, dope. <laughs> dope. <laughs> Therapy. I mean, we put it all in one, baby. One session. We all I know it's all up. entertainment, man. Oh, oh, it's all do. fun. I know she do. It's all fun and games. But motivation, you have to have motivation. You can't just sit How there do you all motivate? Wild. What do you do? But even with, even a girl, if you smash the girl, what do you do to she... them? Do you just tickle their ear with your dreadlock? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Funny I never as hell. thought about that. <laughs> She's not in the giving head. You got his dread yeah, there you thrown go. in her there ear. You there you go. <laughs> no. What do you do? We just be honest. We've all fake moan to inspire. I, I, we understand it. That's okay. what I'm saying. How do you I'm sure fake girls moan? do the exact same thing. Moan. You have to motivate. Oh, yeah, you do this is amazing out every now and then. Yeah. Oh, you don't say it. Yeah, yeah, you got to say, you say oh. words? Yeah, you got to. Nah, yeah. I don't say words. Oh, yeah. you got, you got, you nah. got really motivating. You ain't really getting the best you really Call get. Call on the Lord. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Yeah, sometimes you got to be like, oh, uh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, right uh. there. Right there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> but what if a girl just laid there? No motivation for you. You's like you pumping, like you still getting pussy. Oh, it don't matter. Yeah, nah, yeah, that yeah. don't matter. No, what? it matter. What? Oh, I thought you meant when you giving a girl head. You could pump the silence. You can't pump the no silence. Nah, I can't pump the silence. Nah, nah, nah. And if I'm down there, if I don't hear anything, I'll quit. <laughs> Man, stop. I'll pump no up. Yo, yo, we good? No motivation. Yo, because neither of us are enjoying this. <laughs> so should we just move on? <laughs> we just move on. <laughs> but body language talks too, right? What body ah, language? I'm down here. That's all I'm seeing is lead. All you want is a little bit of moaning. You and need pain. something. That's it, moan. You, pain. Need, pain. you need a laugh in, 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 in uh, comedy. You need laughs. Exactly. You need I need a reaction. Yes. Yeah. Nah, that's true. Audience matters. That's basically what y'all exactly. saying. Exactly. I need so audience, audience feedback. Audience, audience feedback matters. Give me something. Yeah. Nah, we need that little clap machine from like the late night shows. No, nah, yeah, no, yeah. nah, I don't you want know, that. That's whack. I like the natural reaction. Fake laughs. You know what's so crazy? I wasn't going to have a live audience. Mm -hmm. for, my, for, for my talk show that <laughs> premieres this Friday at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. Hey. And you know, I, re I rehearsed, you know, I was rehearsing the show without an audience, whatever, whatever. And then I'm watching the tape back and I'm like, nah, bro, this ain't it. The yeah, energy, it. that energy, saying? yo. And so I'm like, yo, let's bring an audience in. So we brought an audience in and it's just like, it's different. The, the yeah. energy was You know, it's different. just different. And it, But it, to your point, it's not even like, because I'm not a comedian, so I'm not trying to make anybody laugh. It's just like, but you want those like, Oh shit! I never thought of that. Like, uh, you know what I mean. You just want that reaction. It just makes everything that much better. Yeah. And it makes, you've it, completely flipped on this. I'm glad because yeah, you used I mean, to I be against radio. it. So radio is different, right? Yep. And, but, and but by the way, maybe radio in radio, maybe you are getting an audience and you don't realize it, but your audience is in real time because you might be looking at social media. Or uh, your audience is in real time because people call the radios. Mm -hmm. But back you in the day, mean? you didn't want the live audience for the show, I remember you telling me, because you didn't want people playing for the Performing. audience. Performing, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, wanted yeah. a real conversation between people mm -hmm. and you want that person, if they say something funny, to make you laugh, yeah. not just pandering to whatever the crowd Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And I agree with you. I think you can lose conversation. I think a lot of times, like, if you even see late night shows, when someone's up there, it's almost like the host is going, so what is your joke about Afghanistan? <laughs> and then the person goes, here's my joke about Afghanistan. Yeah. And they're almost performing for the audience. It's, it's not real like conversation. Real... Yeah. Yeah. That's all. But yeah. nah, it's good. You got to You got to have a, you got to have audience. I think it depends yeah. what the show is. We don't like have one right now. People watch this for hours. But the, yeah, they're riding in their car. They're listening. They're yeah. laughing. Yeah. It just depends what it is. Like this is conversation. Though. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. I think sometimes people want that companion in their car, when they're on these long rides, it just feels like they're not alone. You know what else yeah. I think it is? It's like, I think it's weird. What I think is good about this, right now we have five people in this room, mm -hmm. right? So it's just homies hanging out, like Jeez. everybody's laughing, it's fun. It's just like a friend group, right? You're, yeah, just, yeah. you're just chilling. The problem with filming TV shows is, even if it's three of us on camera, there's 40 people that are just back there behind the camera, yeah, sound yeah, guys, whatever. Yeah, 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 and they're yeah. told not to react. Oh, no, I fuck with everybody. No, it's good, but like yeah. the uh, production goes, hey, we don't want to ruin the take, so make sure you don't laugh. Oh, so it almost feels like you're bombing or the combo isn't interesting, <laughs> right? Because you got 40 people staring at you like you speak in a different uh, language, absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So what they did, I remember Joel McHale did that show, The Soup. Do you guys remember, remember soup, that show? Uh, yeah, on uh, mm -hmm. E. Mm -hmm. Only The Soup was so dope because you know what they said? Yo, everybody, if, if you find something funny, 
just laugh. That's right. The yeah. cameraman's laughing. The guy with the sound That's is right, laughing. Dope. Like everybody on set is laughing. And then it felt like a fucking podcast. It felt like five friends in a room. Let's go. Just busting balls about whatever happened in talk shows. That's though. right. I love it. I talked to the producers. I talked to them. You yeah. know what I mean? I During the show. During the show. Good. Why not? Good. I love it. I mean, I just, those are elements that I like. Like when I'm watching Wendy Williams' daytime show, I like when she's talking to the people off camera. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Just because. like Break the wall. It. Break the wall, yeah. oh, man. You yeah. never know. Comfortable too. And yeah. it makes you feel like you're not really doing a show. You're just kicking it. And that's what you ultimately want. There was a, uh, when we were doing Dallas, Dallas was this, just this massive venue. It was like a fucking, uh, like a arena kind of, right? And uh, the venue was so big that they put a guy on an iMeg camera, which basically there's a guy holding a camera videotaping me. And then I'm on screens on the side so that the people that are way in the back can see me Jeez. big. And I had like instinctually to address him. Because I can't just have this motherfucker in the front row yeah. Yeah. just standing there the whole yes. time and act like he's not there. Like for me, so I could be comfortable. And I think something about addressing him made everybody else go, okay, we all have acknowledged he's there. Now we can move on. Yeah, Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's something about that when you're filming a TV show, just acknowledging that it's like a TV show and that there are people here, yes. not pretending. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's so much better. Yes, it's a goddamn TV show. It's fine. Man, we live in an age of transparency. Yeah. When what? do people realize that? What did I say? Are you saying... Can you say that word? Man, what? shut up, yo, man. Yo, yo, we yo, live yo, in an age yo, of transparency. Come on, okay, Come on Is that really a word? Yo, yeah, what transparency is a word. But what is a transparent? That's someone who doesn't have kids, but they identify as a parent. <laughs> Come on. Is that? Transparent? That's when someone doesn't have kids, but they identify as a parent. Yes. Exactly. Right, so you're really not a parent, like a stepfather. Man, what uh, are yeah. you talking about? A stepfather about? is a transparent. Transparent. Yeah. What are you talking about? What? A stepmom? A stepmom is a transparent. <laughs> You're a uncle transparent. that act like he's an uncle, but really smashing the mom. Absolutely. Yo, the crazy Trans part Technically, is... Technically, Jesus. No, you can't do that Transparent. Jesus. Jesus he's he's our father. No transparent. He's our father. Nah, God nope. is our father. Oh, fuck. Yeah, See? God is our father. Yeah. You know what's so crazy about that? There is a young woman. There's a young woman out here that's, that's looking for a stepdaddy, which I thought was dope. Ooh. Yeah. Brittany. That's right. Yes. I thought that's dope. Brenner, not... The other brand. I thought Grinder. What? Huh? Grinder is your favorite uh, at social media app. No, no, Britney Grinder. Oil up your ankles, let your Tim's tap wax. Ooh. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> is that a young Ama? I don't know what that is. <laughs> You're not really a Britney Grinder out here. No, Grinder. Grinder is, a... is the basketball player. Right? right? No, Grindr's a website for gay guys to have sex. You but Brittany Grinder's a basketball player, right? <laughs> you gotta be a basketball player, right? The girl who's Brittany Grinder. No, no, what's her name? What's the Grinder is a website for gay guys to have sex. Yeah. Brittany Griner is a WNBA player. There you go. Yeah. And Brittany Renner is a um uh <laughs> thief. And she out here looking for a <laughs> She's a thief. <laughs> She's a thief. <laughs> which I don't which I don't have a problem with. I didn't like I I, I like you, she said. I didn't what mind what mean? she said. She's looking for love. <laughs> I know what she said. It. Well, a stepdad is not love. Why not? If I got it, that's I... looking for a babysitter for your kid. If you uh. say I'm looking for love, then they end up being a stepdaddy. Yeah. She said, I'm yeah. looking for a stepfather. She knows what she wants. Yeah, she knows exactly what she wants. <laughs> she needs... At least she's up front. Yeah, she needs a man to be in her child's a lot life. Of the girls I don't see out the here problem. Fronting. Yeah, I gotta stop making this girl famous, man. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Like, what? just you just gotta let her talk into the void. This is bad. That you want women to look up to this. You want women to no, look at this I mean, as a way out. But no, I'm not what is saying. She doing? That. No, I'm not. Hey, no, everybody this. rewarding this. No, not this. This video she's is okay. Not, not before what she did. She's not the first, but we're rewarding what she's doing. And then also don't not, do that. Yeah. Well, and then, uh, uh, not, and then not before what yeah, she yeah. did with this video right here. I don't mind this. What did she do? She, I didn't even hear it to be honest. With before you. she said that, she, I just saw the headline. I didn't even hear. It. What did she say? Yeah, I, I didn't even no see shit. I was fucking with Taylor early. Didn't even know what I was talking about. I said, Taylor out here looking for a stepdaddy, and she was like, and Taylor was like, I don't got no kids. And I was like, Whatever. I, I just thought to myself, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. So just, <laughs> nah, she right got here. pregnant by this basketball player, had yep. the kid, and then broke up with him, and then divorced him, and then I guess she's getting the check now for it. Yeah. So where the stepdaddy coming to play it? Now she wants a new stepdaddy. Yeah, so she's saying with this guy right here, I'm going to let you take the kids. I'm going to let you have, be a father to your kid. I'm out the way. I'm no threat at all. I got mine. I'm like... So hold on, I don't get what's it, What's the problem? So how does how is he a stepdaddy for his own kids? No, he she wanted a stepdad because them two not together no more. So she's I'm saying... So yeah, she said two things. She, One thing she said is um, the baby daddy that she has, hey, you're free to do whatever you want. I'm no longer kid. a threat. Girls can come into your life. It's all good. Peace. And she's now looking for a stepdaddy for her child now. Taylor, can I hear it? I can't listen to these Britney whispers. I need to... <laughs> can I hear it? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. 
It's officially stepdaddy season. Hey! Yeah, what up? I know a lot of you are skeptical about talking to people with children, but I can assure you, the baby mamas now, today, we don't give a damn. You can have them. I have exited the rat race. I am not a threat. I want you to be around for a long time, not a good time. You can hold my son, put him on your story. I trust his judgment. I really do. I really, really do. I just want you guys to be happy. I swear. I do. Now, I'm not a threat, but, you know, I can't speak for the other, 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 other hoes that you don't know about. You know, maybe I'll definitely be in your favor. <laughs> but I am here for it. Okay. Like people move on. Save the, you should have got the ring first. It wasn't going to work out anyways. It just wasn't going to work out. Let's laugh together and let's raise this baby. You know? What's she saying wrong? That's what I said. What's wrong? What's she ain't saying that wrong? I completely misinterpreted what she was saying. Because yeah. you didn't watch yeah. it either. You I saw the headline it just like I did. I Admit watched it. it. That's the problem. I watched it. You did? I watched the whole thing on multiple Instagram accounts. What did she say wrong? What did she say wrong? Uh, nothing. But when I watched it, I thought she was talking about what she wants. She wants a baby. She wants a stepdaddy to do all these things. And she's mm. like, I don't care. My kid can sit on your lap. I don't care. No, all these no, other no, things. No, and I'm just cool. like, but she's actually talking about the father. Yeah, the father. And I was like, wow, that's actually like a really cool way to look at a relationship. That's what I this said. Girl's this girl's awesome. Is great. Explain it to me now. I'm lost a little bit. On okay. It. What <laughs> I thought she was talking about is her getting a stepdaddy and okay. how the stepdaddy could have her kid sit on his lap and you're going to be part of the life yeah, and yeah. I'm not going to trust his judgment and stuff like that. No, yeah, I trust the stepdaddy's judgment. Uh -huh. She's talking about her ex, her baby daddy. Got you. And that kind of stuff. And then she threw a little shade with the, I don't know about his other hoes, which almost makes me feel like the, the reason why she broke up is that. He had other hoes. Gotcha. So it might be his fault why he got in this situation in the first place. Ooh. She he, he you know, she might have been faithful, found out about other hoes, and he was like, Oh no, I got a kid now. You gotta be, be faithful. I get you. the I don't speak this hood shit like I used to because I still lost in what I mean. I, I what she's saying makes sense. Whatever it is she's talking about, I think what yeah, she, she said actually makes sense. sense. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind that situation. Yeah, like I think a lot of people with a baby mama would wish that their baby oh mama would look at it like this. The, that's right. how I took it as she's a woman with children and. If you're a man who has children, she don't mind connecting with you. Like she's not because a lot of women say, "I don't want a guy with kids. I don't want a guy with kids." Or a lot of no, guys no, say, "I don't no, want a woman no. with kids." I don't want she's a just kids. talking about her baby daddy, That's and it. she's like, gotcha. "Yo, you're basically yo. You can go get other girls, and I'm not yeah. going to be a threat I'm to those girls. To and if he trusts you around our baby, then great. You could." I have a baby judgment. on your lap, I trust you too. Oh, that's but that's how it should be, right? That's this what is what we Oh, okay. That's what I said. I don't mind what she's saying. This girl, cool. this girl is about to trap another one. Yep, for this sure. This girl <laughs> is brilliant. <laughs> yes. What a genius. Yes. She's laying the perfect trap. <laughs> that's exactly what she's doing. Now another dude is like, man, I should definitely I fuck with this girl. This girl's cool. I need some money to be cool like this. Why I gotta get the money anyway? Maybe she's just fun. No, 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 no. If you could get somebody like that, if you gotta give the money anyway. And she's cool like that. There we go. Why well, have to deal with the rest of the bullshit? Yeah. She's not a threat. She knows Nothing what she's she doing. She's going to have she multiple she max contracts. She's going to have like contracts. five, six baby fathers. Yeah. Just collect them like Thanos. Yep. And she's giving them back to you. I have your baby. Give it back to you. Give Whatever me money. Whatever you need. Yeah. That's all she's doing. Wow. She's having your baby for you and give it back. Hopefully you have a boy. I mean, some guys like a want surrogate. girls. Huh? She's like a surrogate. You know, like, like mm. rich people like pay a woman to have their kid and they take the kid back. Like the Kardashians, I think. I think Kim did, mm -hmm. it, right? So, so that, yeah, that's what she, she could do for. She's she like a surrogate them? for NBA players. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, with no problems. Cause I'm sure a lot of NBA players got a lot of crazy baby moms. Oh out yeah, there. of course. Taking their money, gold yeah. digging, all that, type. and still holding the baby for collateral. Nah, can't do that. Good job, miss. Well, good job, young lady. You feel? I feel like you did. You put something good in the ecosystem. She did. <laughs> Taylor, what? You you don't have nothing to say about this, Taylor. What'd she say wrong? Okay, well, tell what us. She, now, yeah, watch this. now watch how silly this is. Microphone. Now, tell us. Yeah, yeah, now, now, your time to, to shine. She heard. Taylor, Come on. go get it. Come on. Taylor, get it. Just Come go on. Sit, stand right because next to her. Because this is what happens. Stand no, right no real quick, real quick. This is what happens in situations like this. They have I'm a preconceived mad. notion about her. No. So they're not really comprehending what she's saying. They're not being objective. I'm not mad at what she's saying. Okay, that's I'm cool. just saying how you're saying that she's a surrogate. I don't get why you're saying she's giving the baby back. That's what she said. She said, I'll give the baby back. You can have them as much as you want to. I'm, I'm what you here for a good time. I'm a long thinking time, she's here for a long time. time. She's thinking, an incubator. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm thinking she's talking about how you, well, you guys just said the baby, if the baby dad wants to date other girls and stuff like that, like she's not the threat to them. Yeah, she's, not, yeah. she's not a threat to so, them. 
But why are you saying she's a surrogate? I don't understand that. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't understand either. So I try to make things funny. No, I try to say funny. I don't understand either. Because she said that I'm going to sit there and have your baby and I'm going to still give you your baby, have as much time as you want and everything. A lot of other baby moms get your money and keep your kid away oh, from you. Oh, I see what you're saying. Not giving no time. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to let you give you, I'm gonna give you the kid and all that type of stuff. A lot of baby moms I know keep the baby for collateral for a long time. Your one language wax speaks fluently is baby, ah, baby mama. mama. You know he baby mama. He speaks baby mama now. That was well, amazing. That's a cool baby mama. That was that a, cool a cool baby, baby mama. mama. I mean, I don't know what she was really saying. I couldn't really understand, but it sounded cool. I didn't feel threatened. Can we talk about the other she big separation? Not a big separation. Uh, Stephen A and Max. Oh, that was crazy. We had Stephen A on this morning, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, he was on Breakfast Club this morning. And? Did you ask him about it? Why he fired the white man? He said that, uh, you know, he told Max a long time ago that, you know, me and you have a ceiling. He said, me and you got a ceiling. He said, I, he said he just know he just knew him and Max had a, had a ceiling. I mean, I, I'm not mad at that. And he was like, yo, sometimes you got to, you know, freshen things up. And Max going to get his own show. And I think he's he's doing, a, he's on the radio show with Keyshawn Johnson every morning, nationally Jeez. syndicated. And he's still doing the boxing thing. Like, Stephen, they said, yo, Max is... No, Max is good. Oh, God, at, at, at ESPN. What do you think? What do you think the issue was? Uh, I think that they just didn't get along. I mean, listen, no, no, let me take that back. I don't want to say it. I can't put words in. I can't put my feelings and project things on them. I don't know what the issue was. I just think sometimes you know that you and a person have a good working relationship, and sometimes you know that you and that person are not going to be working together forever. It's just really that simple. Sometimes you get chemistry with somebody, and you like, we're going to ride this thing until the wheels fall off. Sometimes mm -hmm. you got... Something with somebody that's working for the moment, but it, you know you might go into work every day and your energy yeah. drops. You know, there's a uh, there's a guy who pops up on like YouTube and Twitter a lot. Uh, ben Shapiro. Do you know Ben Shapiro? Yes, of course. You've heard of him. And cool. um, basically, his biggest clips on the internet are when he's like dunking on like some college kid. Some college kid that he's giving a conversation at the college kid raises his hand and he'll be like, yeah, but we need to make sure that feminism is here for whatever. And then he'll just dunk on this kid who's just like kind of uneducated and those clips go fucking viral. Stephen A. Smith is best with a Skip Bayless because mm. he needs someone to dunk on. And Max is too logical to dunk on. Like, Max is coming at it as an actual journalist, not an entertainer. Stephen a., uh, Skip Bayless is an entertainer. I'm just going to say the craziest shit that will be entertaining, and then Stephen A. gets to go, you're an idiot. How the hell could you possibly think that? I'm going to dunk all over you, you college kid mm -hmm. who's saying silly shit. And I think the problem was Stephen A. couldn't dunk all over Max's comments because they were too logical, logical and precise. The problem is... We don't want logical and precise. Yeah. Skip Bayless went over there and was talking with Shannon, and all of a sudden, all of us were like, that's way more entertaining. Yeah. We think that's Ali way more entertaining. Here, Ali Ali Give me, yeah. yeah just Ali argue, debate, yeah. have fun. It's brilliant idiots. Yes. People would rather brilliant idiots than just brilliant. Yeah, I hate that. Say the stupid so and the smart shit. Exactly. I mean, I think with Steven. Medicine and the candy. For me, though, with Steven, I yeah. think Steven A, I think Steven is so consistent with everybody. Like, I like seeing Steven A, regardless of who he's on there with. Like, Steven A is the focal point a first take. Now, when Skip Bayless was there, it was different. It was two alphas. And I'm not saying Max is not an alpha because Max is really dope. But, we're, I mean, we're watching for Stephen A. You don't think? No, I, we watch for Skip. And the reason that really? we, we thought we watched for Stephen A. All of us watched like it. I like Stephen A. I we, think, no, yeah. Stephen A is amazing. He's yeah. incredible. And we thought we watched it just for Stephen A, right? Skip left. We started watching Skip's new show. They got a replacement for Skip. We weren't watching first take as much anymore. The numbers went down. So that shows me that Skip was the one that was entertaining, even if he was the one getting dunked on. He was the person in the dunk tank. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah, we yeah, watch yeah, that yeah, dunk yeah. tank thing for the person throwing it or, or the for the person falling, falling in the water? Yeah. Skip was falling in the water. Yes. And he was willing to fall in the water every single time. And Stephen A was great at hitting that fucking target. He's great. masterful. He's so entertaining to watch. He's so entertaining to listen to. And he's got really good points. He's got great connections. You the ball. You need somebody in the dunk tank. But at the end of the day, we need someone in the dunk tank. And Max was hard to dunk because he's coming through logical and research. Skip yeah. is just going, fuck LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron will never be as good as Michael exactly. Jordan. Max, and, and, and Max is coming yeah. in there. Well, well, technically, you know, in this season, LeBron did average less and he had these shooters around him. And Stephen A is like, fuck all these facts, bro. Say some dumb shit so I could put you in a dunk tank. I get what you're saying. So we'll um, see if he gets that person. I like, I like, but there's a lot of people I like on first take. I love when Stephen A and Kendrick Perkins are together. I like, you know... Well, Perk goes for it. Perk is no joke. I love Big Perk, Perk man. is great. Big Perk is dope. Because yeah. he goes for it. That yeah, and he's smart. Yes. And he's logical. And he knows the game. 
Spe- I don't think, I don't think, but here's the thing. I don't think Skip Bayless is illogical. He just has wild ass takes sometimes. He is, he will say whatever the Hell most Mary. salacious thing to say nah, is. Nah, I think that Hell he just, Mary. I think that his salacious takes are, are huge. But every day, when you, when you listen to Skip every day, he's got some points. Sure. It's just that when he says, you know, LeBron's not great or, uh, what was another one that he had that was so wild? He's religious. Yeah, like Michael Jordan is his god. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely, absolutely, so it's absolutely. Like, if you're religious, you believe that Jesus is God. Amen. And then another religion could come on and be like, no, 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 we believe this guy's God. And then you look at them like, you must be crazy. Yeah. I know yeah. who God yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. the same yeah. last night. Yeah. This guy's yeah. nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I think yeah, what please. we love about that is that, yeah, there, if in, with all religions, they're going to say some things we all agree with. Mm-hmm. They're going to be like, don't kill people, don't hurt people. Like, right. okay, you want to something? I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you something. No, I'm going to tell you why you got to give Stephen A a lot of props. Everybody doesn't work with Skip Bayless. Yeah. Like, meaning... Everybody you yep. put across from Skip Bayless will not work with Skip Bayless. Stephen A chose. Everybody works with Stephen A. Yeah. No, Stephen A has chemistry with everybody. He's the best. Y'all Stephen like Shannon A. Shannon Sharp? You're not, yeah, Shannon Sharp is yeah, dope, dope, but Shannon and Skip work together. Yeah, it's dope. But that's, that, like that's not, Skip, Skip worked with Stephen. Shannon, who else have you seen Skip with? Peace. Stephen A is the person that gets you over. Remember in wrestling, they had that term like, you know, a Ric Flair can get you over. Yeah, a Hulk Hogan yeah. can get you over. I watched, and I thought it was masterful. I watched Stephen A. and Mike Ir- Michael Irvin last week. Yeah. And I watched Stephen adjust his game because he know Michael Irvin was going to be the rah, 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 yeah, yeah. Stephen yeah. fell back. Yeah, Stephen yeah. turned it down. I asked him about it today. I said, yo, I watched you and Mike last week because, you know, Mike, I think Mike only on there on Mondays. And I said, I watched you turn your vom down. On purpose, because I'm looking at it not I'm looking at it from a talent perspective, yeah. but also mechanics. Mm-hmm. And he explained, yes, that was purposeful. Cause yeah, I know yeah. what Mike is coming with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, that's yeah. that's a, that's a skill unto itself. That's the bro. energy you shit we were talking that's about. Right. Understanding right. the energy. That's right. Stephen yeah. A is dope. I, I mean, the I girls I, start moaning like crazy, you start smashing harder. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> right? Okay. Right. Can we pay some bills? Cause I gotta pee. Can we pay some bills? <laughs> More Let's motivation. Guys, this episode has been brought to you by the greatest CBD on the motherfucking planet, and that is Cushy. It is the best flower, okay? It's the best pre-rolls. This is the stuff that you need to do if you want to relax, if you want to chill, you feel a little anxiety, you want to tone it down, or if you just want to smoke casually with the homies. And there's some people, they like to mix, mix their weed with uh, a CBD flower so that they don't have that tobacco stuff in there and they don't end up getting addicted to fucking cigarettes. You can't do that. It's bad. It's bad for your body. So Cushy Dreams is specializing in a high quality smokable CBD. CBD has been shown to help with all these things that I just mentioned before and smoking CBD gets it into your system the right way so you don't have to wait for the long term effects. All right. Cushy Dreams extraordinary CBD rich hemp flour comes in eight ounce cans and pre-rolled joints. It is cannabis that ships directly to you and directly to all 50 states. They offer indica and and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy. And you can get it if you go to CushyDreams.com. That's K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com. And at checkout, use the promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. That's right. You're getting the best CBD on the planet, okay, for 20% off if you use the promo code IDIOTS when you go to Cushy, K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com. And make sure you use that promo code IDIOTS now. This episode has also been brought to you by Talkspace. So look, the world is racing to get back to normal, to start meeting up in person again. But after the year we've had, getting back to feeling normal takes time, okay? Obviously, we went through a lot of stressful stuff. We changed our entire lives. That was an adjustment we needed to make. And now we're making another adjustment that comes with anxiety, that comes with depression, that comes with a lot of different mental health effects. And there is a place where you can work through those mental health difficulties And that place is Talkspace, okay? I'm telling you, whether you're a parent, student, millennial, or just someone having a hard day, okay? Talkspace can provide support to help you better with a single message, all right? That's all you have to do. Set goals with your therapist and they can help make sure that you're really progressing. Talkspace works around your schedule at your convenience. You can send and receive unlimited messages with your dedicated therapist. You're literally texting your therapist. You're working through things on text, but you can also do video meetings, okay? 
You can do that. And whether you're experiencing depression, anxiety, or other problems, and whether you're experiencing depression, anxiety, or other problems, Talkspace is the number one online therapy platform for you to start, sort through any issue, okay? Talkspace therapists are experts in dozens of specialties, anxiety, depression, relationships, and more to help start feeling better. They got your back, okay? And they can do it all digitally. Whether you're talking on the phone, FaceTime sessions, texts, all these things can happen and they can start with a single message. And you can match with a licensed therapist when you go to Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month with the promo code IDIOTS. That's $100 off when you use the code IDIOTS at Talkspace.com. Now, let's get back to the show. Salute to Talkspace too. Talkspace, y'all should have, well, I guess it's time for church announcements. Talkspace, y'all should have sponsored um my uh my mental wealth expo. My mental wealth expo is going down on World Mental Health Day uh 1010 at the Marriott Times Square Marquee in New York City from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's a uh it's a day of mental health um mental health and healing education. You know what I mean? So people are always like, "Oh, you know where do you get the resources? Where do you get the resources, you know, to 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 even begin your journey of healing? You know, where do you start?" You know, I feel like uh I put together a nice little one-stop shop for everybody to come through and, you know, sit down and meet the people that you should probably know and, you know, pick up some new tools, mm -hmm. some new tools that may help you on your healing journey. So go to mentalwealthexpo.com and talk space. It's not too late to come on as a sponsor, but go to mentalwealthexpo.com. Um, it's free and open to the public. What, what you got for church announcements, Wax Schultz? Who, who's going? Uh, go for it, Wax. Um, I got my Who's Wax in uh, stores in LA. I got my new drop coming. I got my new bag coming. Um, you still go ahead and get the old bag. Is in a bunch of stores out there. Um, I'm in six stores in, in Jersey. Go to whoswax.net. Go look at the stores and see if you're close by that area. Or if not, order it. Whoswax.net. You know what I'm saying? Amazing, man. Yeah. So um, uh, And also the chargers. Yes, the, the rush charger. Oh, man, I'm charging my phone right now. It's really dope. I got one. It's crazy is that I'm using a rush charger to charge a rush charger. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how dope this really is, man. Y'all need to go to rushcharge.com and um, you'll purchase this. It's really dope. I love it. Wireless. Um, also, uh, check out the Infamous Tour. I'm filming my special uh, this Sunday, Monday in Austin, Texas. Uh, very excited about that, man. Thank you, everybody who bought tickets to those shows and is going to be there supporting. Uh, that's uh, just, you know, mad love. Thank you so Austin much. Austin is what you're doing the special, right? Yeah. When is it? What's the date? Uh, Sunday and Monday. God damn it. Damn, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. long is, how much longer? Uh, we, we keep saying we're going. We I'm going in October. It. I just got a couple loose ends to tie up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what you got? What you got? I'll tell going you all in a second. Oh. After that, hopefully after this week, I mean, you know, the TV show. TV show premieres Friday, and you know we just here, man. We just so what's going on? Something's I'm going not, on. I, I wait. I wait. I'm gonna wait. All right, I'm bet. I'm wait. But, but um, yeah, Infamous oh, Tour. Go check yeah. it out, man. We got a bunch of new shows that we added. Uh, TheAndrewSchultz.com. You can get tickets to all those shows, and we added more shows in different venues, man. So go get that. And uh, also, anybody coming to the show in Austin, uh, just know that uh, you either have to be vax or have a negative COVID test. So make sure you have our vax or the negative COVID test. You can talk to the venue about the specifics, but just make sure you have either of those. Go get it ahead of time. Just fucking do it. These are the rules. Make sure you do it. And um, I have a, a list of all the rules for all the other venues, but most of them, um, uh, some of them don't have that, but most of them are are one or the other. And I like that. I like the, I because say, like it like doesn't it. force people to get vaccinated. I kind of don't like that if it's only vax. I like the fact that people have the opportunity to just show that they're not, they don't have COVID with mm -hmm. the test. Yeah. I think that that's fair. It allows people to be free and make but, their own choice without feel, making anybody else unsafe or sick. So do I, you I, feel I like good it. Are everybody in there vax though? I don't give a fuck. No, I've had COVID and I've been vaccinated, so I'm a fucking superhero. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> bring it on. I, I um I, I will say this: when we were at the garden on Sunday, from what I was told. Yeah, everybody, everybody there was vaccinated. That's what they said. Even the audience. Mm -hmm. I don't think it, that's fair. I think that I think it does provide a different level of security. I'm not going. It makes you feel better. Everybody it, around it's, there. It's, I don't know mask. if it provides a different level of security, but it makes you feel better. It's less secure. That's what I was asking. You think so? People oh, that everybody are vaccinated with no mask can still that? get it. Yeah. People yeah, yeah, who yeah, took yeah. a test that says they don't have it. Yeah. Don't have it. That's yeah. the safest thing. Like, you know, you, yo, that's so interesting you say that because remember yeah. there was this thing. Uh, you ain't got it. You ain't got it. There was, right? Like, if you really cared about <laughs> yeah. safety, you'd be like, yo, I need everybody to have a negative test. But 
that is unrealistic because it takes so much time to get these tests turned over, et cetera. Uh, so you go, okay, vaccinate or that. And I think that that's a safe option. It doesn't force anybody to do anything that they don't want. Yeah, you know what's so interesting? We uh, were having a discussion last week about Jimmy Kimmel. Everybody took Jimmy totally out of context, by the way. You know what I mean? Uh, include, including us on The Breakfast Club because I thought what Jimmy was talking about was if you're vaccinated and you know you're sick and you need an ICU bed, yeah. you should get it over somebody who took the horse, whatever, thing, mm-hmm. right? If somebody, somebody that's against vaccinations but decided to take the horse to wormer, right? Okay. Yeah. Because think about it. If you're like, I don't want the vaccine, but I'll put this in my body, whatever it is, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I still think it's unethical for doctors to pick and choose like that, but... Yeah, I, he's a comedian. He's not a doctor. He's absolutely. just trying to be funny. And then but, people, Yeah, go. But no, but I was saying, this is my thing, right? Because everybody, because it turned into this discussion, like if you're vaccinated, you should get an ICU bed over somebody that's unvaccinated. So I said, I asked a simple question. Well, let's say I'm a surgeon. You're vaccinated, but we do a COVID test on you and you're positive. Uh-oh. But this person's unvaccinated. I do a COVID test on him and he's negative. What do I do then? Well, I think that the the, the bed is for someone who's suffering from COVID. Yeah, but it's just so surgery. Because but but everybody was oh, moving the goalposts. They was like, wait, what if you're having surgery? Or what if you're in there for this, a car accident? Like every, like it's different things. Oh, if it has nothing to do with COVID, then you just got to take them both at face value. And whoever yeah, got there period. first, you got to do the surgery. But yeah. I think what he was saying is like, uh, he wouldn't want to give up a COVID bed for someone that chose not to get vaccinated when there was someone who got vaccinated, they mm-hmm. took the risk of vaccination and they still ended up being in a position where they needed to be hospitalized. I think that's kind of backwards though. Because if I took, if I gave you the vaccination, you should be okay. If I didn't, that means you need more assistance. And, mm-hmm. and most people that get it, even if they're vaccinated, are okay. It's very rare that there are any kind of situations that... I, I think it's interesting because I was looking up some... Uh, I was looking up some like medical scenarios and... Uh, we do prioritize patients. Yeah. Like, for example, if you need a new like heart or lungs, mm-hmm. if you're a drug user or, you know, an alcoholic or something like that, you get pushed down the list of priority. Mm-hmm. They won't prioritize insurance. you. That's how insurance do. Well, if, if you not, smoke an insurance, yeah. they ask you if you're a smoker, do you have right. diabetes and stuff like that. Your insurance thing is going to go but up. But I guess here's a perfect example of like the choices you make in your life mm-hmm. affect the medical treatment that you get. Yeah, you yeah, chose yeah, yeah. to abuse alcohol or drugs and therefore you're not going to get the first heart that comes up. You're not going to get the first lung or liver that comes up. And don't nobody want you to live either. That, okay. That's facts. Yeah. This yeah, shit yeah, is yeah, useless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you why you need a new one. You can't, you can't. So I guess it maybe. Unless it's tasty. Mm. All that alcohol marinated that liver for mm. years. You never know. Mm. It's like, see, mm. it's some Wagyu right there, bro. <laughs> That's some good shit. <laughs> but marinated. yeah, so, I mean, I, look, there is some. There it's is just, some it's just so much. Things. It's so much nuance with all of this stuff. It's just yeah. like, yo, stop putting yourselves in corners. Yeah. Because it, the logic makes no sense. If you're a doctor who's turning people away for whatever reason because they're unvaccinated, yeah. what do you do when you run across a vaccinated person who tests positive for COVID? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, that makes no sense. You're just going to leave them hanging? Because mm. you said you're going to operate on the vaccinated. Yeah, we got to call them daywalkers or something like that. <laughs> 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 They're like Blade, bro. <laughs> That's fire, man. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at these texts. People are texting me about, uh, you know, we were talking about um, the Joy Ann Reed, Nicki Minaj situation this morning. Nicki's so that? tight she didn't get invited. Well, That's what that was, right? She didn't get invited to the Met, right? Well, I, I look at it bigger. I mean, I, you know, you can, like, Nicki, here's the thing. Nikki has some vaccine hesitancy, right? Yeah, that's Nikki, that's fine. But, but Nikki Nikki talked about having COVID. Mm-hmm. Nikki talked about, you know, her and Drake having a conversation and Drake telling her, hey, I caught COVID too and I'm vaccinated, right? Very next tweet, Nikki talks about her cousin in Trinidad. Yes. We all got somebody, a family member, friend who's got some wild conspiracy yeah, theory. My, and I don't my, even know the conspiracy too. theory. She talked about her cousin in Trinidad who said, hey, I took the vaccine. Now I'm impotent. My ball swole up. <laughs> And you know my but my wife left me, which I, la- I, yo, I I'm not gonna lie, I laughed at that tweet so much because yes. I I first of all, you know how I know it's it was true. Up. You know how I know it was true. Right. You don't repeat something like that if somebody didn't really tell you. Nah, that. Nah. I wouldn't have repeated it. You, you ain't making I mean? that one up, right? You're not making that one up. But then the very next tweet after that, Nikki goes, "Hey, I'm probably going to end up getting vaccinated Peace. to go on tour, yeah. right?" Then she started posting about you know which vaccine. Is, has been the most effective. She did a poll. The poll yesterday when I saw it, the poll had like a quarter million 
votes. And what well, they say is the best. Moderna. I don't remember, but they do. They, they doctors do say Moderna is the best against, let's especially go. against the Delta variant. Now, let's go. Joy Ann Reed must not have saw all of Nikki's tweets, so she got on MSNBC, and you know she kind of got at Nikki. You know what I mean? And was her just producer saying, fault? Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know whose fault it is. I don't know if anybody's at fault, but she kind of got at Nikki and said that Nikki's encouraging people not to get the vaccine and Nikki spreading misinformation. No, she's not. No, yes, she is. No, she's not. How? When she specifically said, "I'm going to get the vaccine when I go on tour." She doesn't have balls. Hesitant. What do you mean? <laughs> her balls didn't swell up. She doesn't have any balls. But to she's swell repeating up. something somebody told her, like Bro. we all do. If Tom Hanks went on TV and said. The, hey, listen, I got vaccinated, but both of my testicles just fell out of my body. <laughs> Do you think anybody is going to get vaccinated? Hanks. Now, if Tom Hanks gets on TV and says, hey, I know somebody who got vaccinated who told me their yes. balls fell out of their body. They believe And, and Nikki and actually more, said, but yo, Nikki. go do your own research. Nikki never once discouraged people why, from getting the why vaccine. Why is she sharing all this? I, I guess that. The same way we all do. For what, though? I don't know. Maybe she really wanted to know. She put yeah. up a Here's the thing. You can't knock people for how they do their own research. You don't that's, think... That's her people on Twitter. She posted that poll asking people what's the best I'm vaccine. I'm sure they want to know. Mad people were voting. Oh, I took Pfizer. I took Moderna. I did this. I did that. And Nikki said... And look, see, this is what Joanne Reed said to Nikki. For you to use your platform to encourage our community to not protect themselves and save their lives as a fan, I'm so sad that you did that. But Nikki never did that. Yes, yeah, she did. No, she did Unintentionally. Not. Unintentionally. I don't think did. so. No. How when the very what, next uh, tweet was, I'm okay? going to get vaccinated on tour. You know what? Listen, this is what I would have did if I was I, I didn't say intentionally. I said unintentionally. I don't By think so. By sharing those tweets, what do you think the most uh, shared tweet of all that is? It's the one about the balls. No, not the one where it's like, I'm going to get it. But even in that tweet, she specifically said at the end, I don't know what's going on. Just do your own research. Yeah, that that doesn't discredit. She didn't say the, the vaccine. Is, she didn't say the vaccine is causing people to be impotent. She said I got a cousin. Yep. who oh. took the vaccine. Who told me after he took the vaccine, he became impotent and his ball swelled up. Yeah. Who like why? Here, this is what I would have done if I was Julian. Right. Right. That's the opposite of impotence. What do you? Mean? <laughs> right? It's your like, balls. You can't do with those. No, but your balls are like so full of sperm because you haven't fucked. You like you really want to so fuck. That, so that's what impotent means. Impotent means you yes, can't get hard. Man. Listen, so his balls probably got sore because he kept trying to jerk it and kept p- yeah. punching his balls. Listen, we live in a world of narratives. If I'm Joy Ann Reed and my narrative is I want to get people to get the vaccine, I'm going to read Nikki's tweets. I'm going to get on my ra- I'm going to get on my TV show. Yeah, and I'm going to say, hey, you know, Nicki Minaj you know, said some interesting things about the vaccine today. She said her cousin said X, Y, and Z. Then you know what I'll do? There's been no, you know, proof of the vaccine causing impotence. Then I would have said, but Nikki also said she's getting the vaccine when she goes on tour. And Nikki also said, Drake, the biggest rapper in the world right now, who has nine out of the top 10 songs, also has the vaccine. So what are you waiting on to get the vaccine? If Nikki's getting it when she goes on tour and Drake is vaccinated now, what are you waiting on to get she, the vaccine? She, she just wanted to bring her down. Oh, you're expecting the, the media to be fair. Not oh, even just do fair. Do their job. Push, yeah. if, you're push, if you're pushing the... Like right now, you know what Joy did with this? With this, What she did was she put out some information that's not even true. So if I didn't hear what Nikki said or read Nikki's tweets, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, Nikki Minaj is anti-vaccine. Yeah. You know She's what I mean? She's talking bad about it. She could have controlled the narrative by saying Drake got the vaccine. Yeah. Nikki's going to get the vaccine. Yeah. What are y'all waiting on to get She's it? got a job. They all have a job. I mean, I don't know why we expect the media to be honest. The media's job is to, is to sell the story that they're told to sell. Click Somebody rate. goes, Joy, this is what you got to do today. Damn. Brian Selter, whatever the guy's name is. This is what you got to do today. Get people to get vaccinated. Get some and clickbait. Say what? Clickbait. All but that's that. not how you get yeah. people to get vaccinated. So if you if you're trying to get people to get vaccinated, you let people know. Yeah, but dude, yo, Drake got the vaccine. Dude, dude, they don't get like if they were good at it, then we wouldn't know what they're up to. <laughs> 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 they're not good at it. It's I, they're fucking horrible. I don't think. I think. I think Joy. Is, These are idiots. I think Joy is good at what she does. This is what I think happens sometimes. We always end up getting the verses we don't need. Yeah. You know what I mean. It always turns into somebody versus somebody. Why? Because it sells. Why can't we just sit back Clickbait, and correct man. someone? If I saw, I saw what Nikki said, I laughed. It's a simple, yo, there's no proof that, you know, the vaccine is causing people to be impotent and causing people's balls That's to funny. swell up. Yeah. But, Nikki, I am glad that you're getting the vaccine to go on tour. Yo, I think it's dope that Drake got the vaccine. You know what I mean? Yes, it's true that vaccines aren't cures. People with the vaccine can still get it, but mm-hmm. it keeps you from getting 
you know, even sick, sick or even keeps you from fatal. dying. All I'm simply saying is the headline should be Drake got the vaccine. If you're trying to promote a vaccine, Drake is the big, Drake has nine out of the top 10 songs in the country. She needs ratings, bro. We're talking about her right now. I don't even know I who this Joy. woman is. Nah, I've never, I never seen her before either. You, you, Jim, you've met Joy. I did. Yes, I'm man. sorry, Joy. <laughs> so nasty, man. But that's the thing. Like they understand what sells, and they got to sell advertisement. They got bounty commercials that they got to cut to, and they got to sell them fucking paper towels, and that's what they got to do. So if trashing Nicki Minaj is the way that they sell those things, sure. What I find it interesting is the timing for Nicki to come out with these things. I and maybe she was invited and just chose not to go, or maybe she was invited just by herself. And oh they no, did. they asked her why. Why they asked her why she didn't? Because she, she pulled out of the VMAs. Yeah. And she she didn't go to the Met Gala. They asked her why. She said, "Cause I got I had COVID." Oh, she said she had COVID. Yes. Oh, I yes. thought she didn't get invited, and then no. she was just like, I'm she not pulled out of the VMA. She was supposed to perform or something in the VMAs, oh, wow, and everybody wow, wow, was wow, like, wow, "Damn, wow. she pulled out." And Nikki said the day before she was like, I think somebody retweeted something like, "Oh, Nikki's decided to pull out, whatever, whatever." And Nikki was like, "Man, I will tell y'all why later." And she was like, "Yo, I." She was like, "I went out and shot a video." And I ended up catching COVID. Yikes. She was like, do you know how it feels to not be around your newborn baby for a week and some change? Nah, that's fucked up. Yeah. 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 And she was like, yeah. yo, I'm not popping up at the MTV Awards or the VMAs again. Nah. And she, she's not back. And then she said, she started talking about how I'll probably get vaxxed when I go out on tour. And she talked about how she was having a conversation with Drake. And Drake said, hey, I'm vaccinated. And, and I still caught COVID. Mm. So in her mind, she's like, man... Yeah. Fuck that. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all it was. It's That's just a skill. It's, yo, I hate social media sometimes because literally stuff like this happens when all we got to do is just have a simple conversation. He's doing his job. Yeah, That's but we don't want doing. the conversation. We want the entertainment, we want baby. The confrontation. We want People the don't confrontation. want conversation. Yeah. They want confrontation. confrontation. And I don't like that no more. I'm tired of all of these verses we don't need. Yeah, I don't want to see Joy and Reed versus Nicki Minaj on my timeline. Yeah, I don't want to see that. That doesn't even make no sense. I don't want to see that. But like, once I just. Then Nicki's coming, calling her all type of names and everything. I was just like, yo, all this is too much. Like, stop, man. Come on, man. Stop. We hurt each other for no reason. For no reason. Everybody just. But I understand why Nicki was frustrated. I totally understand why she's being painted as something that she doesn't believe she is. Absolutely. And, you know, she's having like select tweets being taken out and used against her. And that's fucking annoying. We've all gone through that. Yeah, that's like having an argument with your girl. She only listened to words. Not the sentence. Yes. Yeah. It sucks. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Buzzwords. Yeah. <sighs> only things that she, if she wants you to sound good, she only get the good words. She wants you to sound bad, she go after all the bad words. Yeah, salute to Joy and Reed and Nicki Minaj. Though. What else we got, Taylor? What else we got, Taylor Gang? Oh, salute to academics too, man. Uh, there was a clip floating around. Uh, because I think the BET awards. Pull up those BET nominations, um, Taylor. Those BET nominations. Long story short, BET put out some type of awards and they have best hip hop platform. And I think nominated for best hip hop platform was like Shade Room, World Star, Complex, Genius, Breakfast Club, and somebody else. Oh, Hot New Hip Hop. Hot New Hip Hop. Salute to Hot New Hip Hop. And, you know, we were talking about it on Breakfast Club and they were asking, you know, we were asking like, um, you know, who do we think? Oh, there it goes. Best Hip Hop Platform. Complex Genius, Hip Hop DX, Hot New Hip Hop, Breakfast Club, The Shade Room, World Star, and Double XL. Mm. And they was like, yo, who do you think should win? And I and, and Envy said Academics. At first, I said Hot New Hip Hop, then Envy said Academics. I said, oh, shit, Academics. Yes, Academics should absolutely, positively win. He's the best hip hop platform. And, you know, Envy and Angela was like, over us? And I'm like, Yes. And I'll tell you why. Yeah. <clears throat> I think Breakfast Club is one of the biggest platforms. We cover a multitude of things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Are we rooted in hip hop? Yeah. We're, we all come from hip hop. DJ NB, Angeli, Charlamagne the God. We all come from hip hop. You mm. know what I mean? We talk to hip hop artists, but we also talk to politicians and we also talk to spiritual advisors mm. and we also talk to, you know, people in the mental health and the mindfulness space. When I want to know what's going on in hip hop. You go to academics. I go to academics. Me page. too, bro. Me too. It's the first thing I do. <laughs> He's like, come on. He's hip hop TMZ. Yo, Tyler the Creator was on Hot 97. Think about this. Tyler the Creator was on Hot 97 and said the biggest hip hop platform is Academics. Yes. That's where he goes for his hip hop. Because Academics is where we are most of the day. We're not on the radio most of the day, right? We are on Instagram most of the day. Yo, most of the people that Academics is covering, we not playing on the radio. Mm -hmm. Most of the people Academics is covering, we're not even interviewing. I, for some reason, I know who Coyle Ray is. We've never interviewed Coyle Ray. I know about her. I know Coyle Ray because Quite a bit. of academics and because yeah. Nyla is her DJ. Ah. Yeah, my, my niece Nyla is her DJ. South you know Nyla. what I mean? You yes. know, but 
I, 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 I go to academics for hip hop. And I think that, you know, it comes a point in time y'all got to stop fronting on academics. Yeah. And I had to think about it. I was like, well, maybe they act like that because academics is not necessarily a, a platform. But he is. That's the thing. He is a person. So it's easier to not look at him as a platform mm -hmm. where these other things are like institutions, like the yeah, Breakfast, yeah. Breakfast Club is an institution. XXL. The Shade Room is an institution. It's easy to just look at academics and be like, here's this guy that's just posting on Instagram and like going on Twitch. But if you actually look at the amount of people and views that he's generating and conversations he's starting, I think it's uh, maybe more than these other platforms within specifically the hip hop stage. Maybe not as much as Breakfast Club, but like, I think that you hip -hop have probably. to. If you added up all acts hip hop, because everything act does is hip hop. It's hip hop. So if you add, if you accumulate yeah. just all those, matter of fact, and he's just posting way more than you guys. It's 100%. constantly throughout the day. So if you look at the actual influence, it doesn't matter if it's one person. It's even better if it's just one fucking person. Mm -hmm. Why does it have to be a team of people? Why does it have to be a whole corporation? If it's one person that's doing the same fucking thing. Yeah. Yes. I mean, what did we learn from Joe Rogan? One person yeah. can get more views than all the fucking news stations in the world. I went to, I, 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 it's so crazy that people just don't realize times change. Yeah. And the, 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 the traditional, you know, outlets, platforms, you know, they, 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 they it's changed. Like it's, yeah. I don't even like to call it non-traditional no more because we're in an era where that is traditional. Mm. YouTube is traditional. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Instagram is traditional. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. These streaming services are traditional. Yep. Like they're not non-traditional anymore. We got we have podcasts are traditional. Right. We gotta stop saying these are non-traditional platforms. It, it, traditions change. That's right. You know what I'm Two saying? It, tra traditions change all the time. So, you know, shout the act. I don't, I don't ever have an ego with anything. I give, I give props what props is due. Like yeah. he built an amazing platform. And he did. I, and I go to him for hip-hop. By the way, I, I like hot new hip-hop too. And I love hip-hop DX. Yeah. I think, I think Say Cheese. is dope, man. I think Say Cheese should be up there. I don't know that one yet. Say Cheese TV, they dope. And, and me and Duval was talking about it and Duval said Chase Say Cheese and I was like, oh shit, yeah, Say Cheese, you know, they absolutely should be up there. 100%. World Star, your World Star's still doing crazy numbers, but yeah. man, when I go, when I want to know what's going on in hip-hop and I want to stay abreast of what's going on with these young Negroes, when I want to go on my hip hop safaris, meaning I want to get in this Jeep and stay in the Jeep and just drive through the jungle, I go mm -hmm. to DJ Academics page. I go to DJ Academics and then his guy, Graham Wizard Chat, and then I can't say the last part of it. What is it? It's the N word. What? Okay. He has <laughs> Nigel. Yeah, Nigel. <laughs> Graham Wizard Chat, Nigel. Uh, he has the funniest fucking Instagram that I follow right really? now. Really? And I think it's a private account, so you gotta go. You gotta go. Like, it is so fucking funny. He does these characters, really? bro. <laughs> yeah. I, you would I fucking always hear lose act talking it. about him. I didn't know he was a real I'm person. I'm telling you, that's academics guy. I think he fucks with act and like helps act with a lot of stuff. But he also has an Instagram that's hilarious, mm. and it's comedy driven. Like the dude, I gotta, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up right now. I well, he's a get. comedian. Do you nah, I don't know. I don't even know. If, he, I don't even know if he's real human, bro. Yeah, but this guy is fucking <laughs> hysterical. Nah, he's a real human. Nah, you met I know him he's real. I know he's real. I, I've talked to him a little bit. Really? Yeah, he's in Australia. <laughs> Get really? Out of here. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. He probably be a shooting. black guy in Australia. Yeah. Oh, dude. See, that's dope, but think about that kind of reach, though. You know what I mean? Because that dude seems like he loves DJ. <laughs> yeah, <academics. laughs> yeah, like he'll post shit like this. I'll be like, LeBron ain't know any of the words, so he decided to dance and act hype, hoping we wouldn't notice. And it's LeBron listening to CLB. Hilarious. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Hilarious. And then he goes, LeBron noticed we noticed him reading the lyrics, so he decided to switch it up. <laughs> <You're> probably reading <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. So, like, he'll catch <laughs> these up. Hey, by the way, speaking of non traditional, you know, when you see a man have nine of the top 10 songs on the Billboard top 10, you have to understand how much a lot of these institutions simply don't matter no more. Yeah. Because that would never happen if radio was still in control. There mm -hmm. used to be a time when you was, to make the Billboard top 10, you had to be like on the radio, getting all yeah. of these spins. It's like blah, country blah, music, blah, like. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Country music like, still run by radio. Man, yeah. like that, that nine out of the top 10 just shows you that People go to these screaming services and they consume what they want to consume mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can program <laughs> that's going to beat well, that. Well, the new radio is playlists. Well, yeah. I mean, listen, here's the thing. I love radio to death, but, you know, uh, if, you, if you're if being honest with yourself, radio doesn't really lead in anything anymore. Like, like screaming services, screaming services lead in music. Right. Right. 
personalities, podcast leading personalities. <laughs> Bless you. Yes. Uh, when it comes to news, Lambda. social media yeah. leads in news. When it comes to, you know, live events, festivals. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's yeah. not a bad thing. It's just radio need make radio just needs to make some adjustments. Like, you know, when it comes to what we're doing here on podcasts, some of these podcast personalities, man, you have to start finding places to put them on your radio station a few times a week just mm-hmm. to get the brand equity of the station up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. Yo, all of these radio stations should have your own, your own playlist. Create yeah. your own playlist with right, title and no brainer. Apple and Don't you know, do what, what Viacom YouTube. did. When Viacom fought with YouTube and they're like, we're oh. going to start our own website. We're like, good luck. Radio stations <laughs> did that. Yeah. There, there was mad radio stations who had their dot coms who were fighting yeah, YouTube. Yeah, it's like, stop it, yeah. stop it, stop I mean, it. I mean, even, like, even with Breakfast Club, we didn't get our own YouTube until 2016. I was expl- I was saying we needed one for yeah. a few years prior. Yeah. But I, I tell this story all the time. It was the week of the Hillary Clinton and Birdman interview that finally made, like, yes, you know what? Instead of putting little clips on YouTube, let's just put the whole interview. <laughs> duh. You know? <laughs> duh. But it's just like, yo, just like little, little adjustments. And I'm going to tell you something else. Speaking of curating playlists, program directors, DJs, and whatever markets they're in, they should program for the markets they're in. Mm. Like you can't have these universal playlists, you know what I mean, it's, all throughout the country. I word, I can't go to Florida <laughs> and hear the same... The, the station can't sound the same way it sounds in New York. I like can't if you go to Buffalo, play some Griselda, but Word. if you're in Louisiana, Word. you might want to put on some Wayne yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, I'm in, if yeah. I'm in Cali, it shouldn't sound the way it sounds in, New York. Yeah. in Atlanta. They got because, they got lazy, man. But you know what that is, though? Yeah, what nice. I'm describing? Curating your own playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. you're giving people the power to do. Right, yeah. right, right. So right, if right, I'm already right. giving people the power to curate your own playlist, how about put the power back in the program directors mm. in the DJ's hands mm. and give them the power to curate their own playlist? Maybe just a suggestion. What yeah. do I know? Yeah, I'm just yeah, a yeah. guy who loves radio for yeah, a long time yeah, and, and you yeah, don't want to yeah. see the culture continue to move forward. Because that's what's happening with the internet. It just allows us to get more specific in terms of what we enjoy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's becoming like food. You're not going to the diner anymore. That's right. You going to a Thai restaurant specifically. That's You're right. gonna have this that night. So when you get to work out in the gym, it's not like what's a workout play- playlist. It's workout hip hop from the '90s. You could get that on Spotify, <laughs> right? Right. right? That's yeah. right. You get right. super right. specific, like rock That's and right. roll anthems from 1970 to 1980. So if it's that specific, how the fuck are you supposed to compete if you're just gonna throw out generic top That's 40 all hits? Over and over again. That's all. I mean, radio. I mean, you know, I love radio. But when, uh, you know, the new rating system came in a long time ago, PPM, like they took all the personalities out of radio and they made radio a jukebox. And you know what also happened in those times? The rise of streaming services and yep. the rise of podcasts. So the things that used to make radio radio, which was the personalities and the music, mm-hmm. now I don't got to wait on my favorite song no more. Yeah, I can just right. go scream my favorite song. I don't got to... Y'all, say, y'all saying nobody wants to hear people talk, but these podcasts are booming, nah, and talk radio is still talk, booming. Talk, that's the thing. If you look at like what still exists, like even the radio personalities that still exist, to me, they're not the guys who are just playing music. It's the guys who are talking, right? It's Breakfast Club, or it's like specific things that will pop up, like the... Uh, LA Leakers, I think. Oh, LA Leakers. Salute to the LA Leakers. So Hell it's like, yeah. They I'll do just the freestyles. See, exactly. Yeah. They have a thing, right? Yeah. Like, I, I've never listened to an interview uh, of theirs, but I do know that when someone does an LA Leakers freestyle... You know they exist. I know they exist. And it's almost like, remember when someone would go on Sway? And they mm-hmm. would do the freestyle and sway. Absolutely. And it was like, there was a Absolutely. moment. So they have a moment. It's like, use your platform to create a moment. You got Donkey of the Day and you got the interviews. It's like, we are tuning in. What is the Donkey of the Day? Yeah, What's going yeah, yeah. on? I need to hear what you have to say about this person. So yeah, you have to use your platform for more than just, I'm going to sit back and let these fucking programmers throw some songs up and I'm just going to throw to the song. Man, I saw, a uh, uh, rest in peace to Michael K. Williams, the New York Post. I think it was the Post of Daily News. I don't remember who it was, but they posted an article. And uh, Michael K. Williams' last post was Tracy Morgan on Breakfast Club. Mm. And so the New York Post, the Daily News, whoever it was, they said they talked about Michael K. Williams' last post was a clip from the Breakfast Club podcast. <laughs> and when you click on the, the link, it takes you to Breakfast Club YouTube. Wow. I'm like, damn, no mention of FM radio at all. Yeah. That tells you how much yeah. things have changed. Yeah. And the word radio, it, it's like the word TV. Like yeah. watching something on TV. Well, we can watch everything on a TV. We can watch Brilliant yeah. Idiots on the TV. We can mm-hmm. watch uh, Breakfast Club on the TV. Mm-hmm. A TV is just a screen now, That's right? It. So the word radio is now replaced with 
podcasts because we just listen to more podcasts. But it's the same consumption pattern. You're still 100%. sitting there. You're listening, listening to the guys that you 100%. love. You're laughing. like 100%. And that's why you have to take the personalities from podcasts mm -hmm. and transition them to radio. You know what I mean? Not saying that they got to be on every day, mm -hmm. but, you know, grab some of these popular shows like why, Big Facts Podcast. They should be on in Atlanta. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, what 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 Letty them are doing in LA with the Brown Bag podcast? That should be on the radio in yeah. in, in in LA. You know what I mean? I love what Head and Chuck Dizzle do with Homegrown. They getting it right yeah, on, with, on, on 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 Real ninety two three LA. But Wallow and Gilly, they should be on in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, you understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Yeah. Like like horrible decisions. Like I remember back in the day when they used to have like uh those late night radio shows, like you know Golden Girl and. Cherry Martinez, who used to come on and talk nasty late at night. Yeah. Put horrible decisions on at midnight to two in the morning. Like, just yeah. do these little small changes to but elevate the brand equity of your station. Yeah, I guess. I don't. But it's just so hard to access. Like, at least for me, like, to, to listen to the radio, I have to be in a car. You know what but I mean? No, like, but here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It don't matter if you, it, you know, if you listen in real time. Great. I think you would if you knew Wallow and Gilly was on at a certain time. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you're in New, if you're in New York, you're like, oh shit, yo, it's we we ride in the car in the afternoon, turn such and such on. Oh, you yeah. might just go to your, you might go to the iHeartRadio app and be like, yo, right. you know, yeah, such yeah. and such is on two to four. Eighty five yeah, South yeah. Show is on two to four on this yeah, station. Yeah, like yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go tune in real quick. Yeah. It's the same way, same way you tap into a podcast. Why wouldn't you tap into a radio station if you knew they were on? Yeah, yeah in that yeah. time. And guess what? You they would still no go numbers. listen to their podcast later. No yeah, numbers. you would yeah, still yeah. go watch them on YouTube later. Cause you know how I know that. Yeah. Cause the Breakfast Club. Yeah. Cause the Breakfast Club comes on six a.m. to ten a.m. And then we got the YouTube page people go to, and we got the podcast people. How listen long does to, it take to turn over media. and edit? We do it immediately. Cause I'm just wondering, like, if I was a radio company, I would just say, "Hey, we want you to record a podcast. Record the podcast for an hour. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up that hour into stuff that can be used for radio. Why not? And who knows? Maybe that takes up." three hours of radio time because you're mixing in with commercials Why and other not? stuff. But you're also going to put it out as just the podcast. Why not? This way you got something to listen to when you ride in the car. Why not? But you also have just the podcast out there. And then you get the best of both worlds. It raises yeah. the brand equity of the station. Yeah. Earn Your Leisure should be on every business radio station out. Right. Earn Your Leisure should have a show every week. Right. You know what I mean? Even if, yo, by the way, even if they're not on every day, just the fact that they're on and they're talking about your station, and they're talking about the call letters, and they're telling people, hey, we're on such and such station. Yeah. It raises the brand equity of the station. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But what do I know? I'm just okay. the radio guy. <laughs> what else we got, Alex, Taylor? What we got? I guess we're in shit you won't care about next week. Britney Spears and Gage, should she get a prenup? Was that really a conversation? I mean, Are you getting yeah. a prenup, bro? Are you getting married? Are you getting a prenup? No, I don't have one. Yeah. No. Nah. How do you feel about prenups? I don't really know about it. Yeah, me neither. To be honest, like I, I, I don't really understand what. It, I guess what I'm thinking is like I, I, a prenup is based on what money you make once you're married, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know. Is it you're married? Um, I don't know what a prenup is made because I don't have one. Yeah, so like I don't know. <laughs> I, th I think it's like I can tell you why I don't have one though. You, you, it's, it's like because you cheated a lot. Man, yeah. Shut up. No, it's not the reason. <laughs> the reason I have not, I don't have a prenup because I've been me and my wife been together for twenty three years. Together, yeah. yeah and it was her. like she literally the first time I ever went to a radio station to fill out an application for an internship. My wife drove me because my goddamn license was suspended. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like when 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 I was getting fired from radio four times, she was the one going to work every day, yeah. Yeah. paying the bills. She was we, shooting with him in the gym. Yes, when we were getting yeah. evicted, she was the one going down to the courthouse right. explaining the to the judge why we couldn't get evicted. Like, right. what the fuck I look like doing a prenup? No, I think that you're doing the right thing. You I guess the CEO of the house. Yeah, I Make never it. Yeah, I never thought yeah. about it. <laughs> if we get, we're never getting a divorce, by the way. Right, of course. I don't even got to knock on wood. That shit ain't happening. Hey! But my wife is the CEO of our house, but also, literally, we came up as kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. nothing is an understatement. Yeah, like I, she literally drove me to the radio station in 1999 yep. to fill out internship papers. Yep. Or maybe it was 98. Yes. I don't fucking remember. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. But she drove me down to the radio station. That's a different level of like, in on the ground floor is the understatement. Hundred percent. You know what I mean. Yeah, 100%. that's all. That's all. I get that. I totally understand. 
You know, but that being said, you guys get divorced, you might be like, well, all she did was drive me to fucking radio. Yeah, that's not true. I, nah, 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 talk I promise y'all wouldn't. Nah. You're not like, you, not like nah. you talked on the radio. I, promise, no. I was one nah. talking. He talked no. to me, I'd be like, nah, I promise you get y'all wouldn't. You can see the house, wouldn't. I'll give you the house. No, you can have, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yo, fit, whatever. Yeah. Half and half. Could. Like, go ahead, do your thing. All right. Is there anybody in your life that can come in and get 50% of your business right now? No. What What does that mean? Can they Wait, what do you Can mean they just that? come in and get 50% of Schultz Enterprises? Can they just come in right now and say, I want 50%? I don't think that that means that they own... Oh, that's an interesting one. I don't think that that's that means good. they own the business. They just own... 50% of your money. They have the, the money, but the business... Is the, different. Money, the business is the, the money, right? Is the oh, money. the business can continue I'm to go on making it. definitely not giving you 50% of the money. No, you give them 50% of the money. Yeah, if somebody just down. walks in right now, you're just giving 50% of what's in your bank account? I mean, that's what Bezos did, right? And then the pandemic happened, he made all that money back and some. I don't know. Explain it to me. Yeah, what happened? So his, his wife had like owned shares of the company because they were mm-hmm. in the company together. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. she got paid off. She made some crazy bread. And she Respect. was part of like the building of the company Respect. early From on. the beginning. From the beginning, yeah. right? And um, He says that, though. He was like, yo, me and her built give Amazon. That to her. Yeah, I'm sure she, she did a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's a good example. I'm sure. I'm sure she did tons. She did enough. She did enough. I don't care if it's giving him head inside the closet. She's 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 stuff, man, you horny, man? No, nah, maybe. <laughs> she got to talk about the pot. No, maybe. No, no, maybe. <laughs> He's like, damn. 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 No, no, I'm just saying. Calling so, that mad over this language shit? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Too nice to this shit for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> go to therapy. I gotta, get, I gotta, gotta go to therapy oh. to get some pussy. No, oh, I guess man. I guess I'm saying like if you own, I don't know how it works, but if like you own a business, right, and that's your <laughs> business, and then you get divorced, the money that you and your wife made from that business in that time, she gets half of, but she don't get half of the business moving forward. No. Unless you guys started the business together, like what yeah, Bezos yeah, did with yeah, his yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I get, I get so, what you're so, so the payoff is to pay her out of to get her out, out of Yeah, there. if you guys bought a house together, if you guys have savings together, you guys have all these things. You know, you have a boat. That's what she gets but half. Still of. be mad if you mar- say you married a woman, y'all got divorced after two years, and you had to give her half your money, and y'all was only together for. Us. Son, I don't like giving the government half That's my money. All yeah, man. sucks. Man. Like, isn't that crazy? We give the government half our money every single fucking we got no year. Fucking and choice. We can still get locked no up. No choice. That goddamn IRS. Well, IRS need to be up there with Al Qaeda and fucking the <laughs> Taliban. These mother, the domestic real, terrorists bro. that stormed the Capitol. The IRS is no. Joke, you, and there's you know, nothing we can do about it. You know it. what I think, man? They dare you to the nut so they can buck. <laughs> yeah. Yo, we, we, I, we, we, pay, we pay enough taxes, as, at least not get no fucking tickets, man. Man, we pay enough taxes that there should be no poor people in America, bro. We should have no fucking tickets in fucking and New that's York. that's all I would care about. If they could show me... You know how when you get a colonic, you can you see the tool? You say that shit until you... When you get a colonic, you can yeah. see what's coming out of you? Yeah. yeah. If I could literally see where my money was I going, wouldn't I wouldn't give a Word damn. Word is born. That's a that's child all. support. I show me the about part child support, just man. Eaten. But you say you don't want any poor people in America, but, you know, you'd be at a restaurant getting your own food from the counter like man we need a couple poor people in the fucking nah, they gotta be poor. poor I yeah. think everybody should be able to yo, Some people make like enough to money where like you that. can just live bro I yeah. ain't saying everybody gotta be in the mansion yeah 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 but you yeah, just yeah. wanna live you wanna Rich be able to have still some food on the husband. table yeah, have a yes. place to stay oh, I want all these things as well that shit don't, don't make you wrong. cry when you see veterans in the street Yes, people that fought though. for this not, country. And I ain't cry yet. I'm not but, crying, yeah. but I, I feel incredibly sad. And yeah, I feel like I feel we let right. those people down. Yes, it's disgusting. Yeah, like the I least we could do is to provide them food and shelter. And and don't we already do month? it with taxes? Like I'm like, I wish I could do more, but and I'm doing it. We doing it right? No, I mean we're we're paying taxes, paying a lot. Yeah, like when AOC's out there with her little fucking Chick Fil A dress talking about tax the rich, I, I'm like, we getting tax. I, lo- I like <laughs> We are getting taxed. Yeah, we're definitely getting taxed. Like, who, who, who do you know that's not getting taxed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we bro, out here getting beaten to fucking death. But the tickets at the Met Gala was 30000 yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. If that's Why don't you the- give that 30000 to the, the poor or whatever? I, I don't know if she paid for a ticket, but I was just like. Also, Damn. how long does she work as a waitress? Because every story got to deal with her being a fucking waitress. Like, you ain't done nothing else? Who is this? I mean, she's AOC now. Yeah, tax the rich. We definitely getting taxed. I see my, I see my, uh, I see my FICA statements every week. Who's that next to her? You're oh, married, bro. I might have to get a prenup. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay some bills. Yo, Do we pay some bills? Who is that next to AOC, man? I don't even see none of, none of them. We got more bills to pay. That's it. We need liquid IV. I did talk space. Liquid, liquid IV. Liquid IV. 
the hot summer months here, and we need to be proactive to keep our body fueled up and hydrated. Well, actually, you know, summer's over, but it's never any season that you shouldn't be hydrated. Making hydration a priority helps us feel healthy on a day-to-day basis and fuels us to our highest potential. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Not only that, but the product tastes great with flavors like watermelon, strawberry, and lemon lime. Sounds like something that'll hydrate you, doesn't it? Liquid IV hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Made with clean ingredients, non-GMO, vegan, and free of gluten, dairy, and soy. Contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. What makes Liquid IV so effective? Cellular transport technology. CTT! Okay? It's the perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively effectively than water alone, okay? Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world. The company is donating 4 million servings in response to COVID-19 products. They're being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code IDIOTS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code IDIOTS at liquidiv.com. You want to do another Squarespace show? I did it. It's one more. Do we have another one? Yeah. it's uh, we stacked out here. Yeah, man. It's it. Guys, this episode has also been brought to you by the goats of the internet game. And that, one more time. Guys, this website has also been brought to... Fuck me. (laughs) What is... Guys, this episode has also been brought to you by Squarespace. I'm telling you right now, if we learned anything from the pandemic, is you need a presence digitally if you have a business. If you don't, you do not exist. What happened when the brick and mortar shops were closed down because you couldn't go into them? Those businesses that were robust and developed on the internet, succeeded and killed it. And you can have that with your business by using Squarespace, okay? Domains, websites, online stores, marketing tools, all that. It is just so simple, okay? You can start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. It is so easy to customize. All the websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Even uh, every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results, okay? These SEO tools are paramount and They have the award-winning customer support. They will help you with anything you need. So head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. All right, let's let's get get back back to to the show. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor, and get up out of here because I got to run. I'm sure Schultz got to run. Mm. All right, uh, Cider Boy Eleven says, "If you was paralyzed from the waist down, which one of your homeboys gets to smash your wife?" Yo, you just wild, bro. Fuck get the out fuck out of here! Like, well, that's like, like, crazy. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking amazing question. Yeah, but god damn, you sick fuck. <laughs> no, I, I just have crazy vibrators and mad different toys and stuff for her. Like, I, I make sure I'm online on Amazon all the time and buying her. Every fucking sex toy in the world. Yeah. That's, That's kind of selfish, don't you think? What you mean? You wouldn't let her smash nothing else? Come on, he bugging. <laughs> <laughs> Prenup. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> Are you letting someone else smash? Nah, nah, nah. You like we handicapped together, shit. baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I get her wheelchair too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're rolling around. Too. This is just rolling, is. baby. Yeah. Okay. Nah, man. At the end of the day, only thing she want to do is get satisfied. You know what I'm saying? You don't need nobody to do that. Yeah, what? get a sex toy or some shit like that. Yeah. Right, you want to talk on. about this? Am I missing something? DTR customs? Do we even? I don't even. Am I missing something? Am I missing something? No, am I missing something with this? I'm. I'm reading it. I don't know anything about this. Yeah, I don't know nothing about this either. Yeah, I thought we were cool. Can we? Can we say it? Can I say it? Oh, yeah. okay. I won't. I don't. We, if it happens, if it, if it comes up later, we'll talk about. But it. what is that in reference to? Uh, I have no idea. Why are you going so fast, Taylor yeah. Gang? Jesus Christ! Why are your hands so heavy? Oh, uh, what happened to Charlotte, December of 2019? I don't, I don't understand. Mm-hmm. What I, I did have an awakening, December of 2019. I, I, I got to a place of worthy in my life. Ah, I did get to a place of worthy. That I, was it when you said I deserve this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I felt like I dealt with imposter syndrome, you know, for a long time. But you know, I saw somebody say something yesterday that was so profound. They said imposter syndrome is when 
you know, you look at your life and you just simply can't believe it. You know what I mean? But it wasn't like, oh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, so it was like impossible? Yeah, like the burgers, like the Beyond Meat and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. So it's like not, it's not like real, real. Where did I see this at? Did I see Anita post it? I think I saw Anita somebody post it. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, imposter syndrome is just being so lit that you can't believe it. <laughs> For real, man. That shit is like, yo, when you living in some of your prayers, you like, yo, God is really real. Like yeah. the power of positive thinking, like your thoughts can really become things. Like don't play with that at all, bro. Yeah, yeah. Don't play with it at all. And I promise you, whatever your good plan is, is probably not God's plan for you. So yeah. whatever you cooking up in your mind, cook it up, but also sit back and let. don't be afraid to let God put some other ingredients in there because you're going to look around and be like, my God, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yes, December of 2019, I was sitting upstairs in my old house and I just was like, I'm worthy, bro. And if I and, and, and Bishop T.D. Jake said the real shit. Bishop T.D. Jake said, even if you don't feel like you're worthy, just know God feels you're worthy. That's Man. why you're in the position that you're mm. in. And just know that, you know, things are bigger than you. And, you know, you're here God, to serve. Yes. And that's literally what, that's that's what I do. That's why I love things like what John Stewart and Pete Davidson did this weekend. It's one thing to, you know, be doing good. Mm. But it's another thing to use your influence and your platforms to do good. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, what else we got, Taylor Gang? What else we got, Taylor Gang? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a good one. I want Schultz to do this one. Hi, I'm Wait. Why is the Met Gala important to society? Because um, perception is reality. Mm. And it feeds off of insecurity. And you take the most insecure people on the planet, which are celebrities, and you give them an event where they may or may not be invited every single year, and they value that event more than anything, and they put on these stupid fucking outfits. The Jay-Z and, dinner. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, because, because they value it, we value what celebrities value, so we yeah. value it. it is, like the Rock Nation dinner? It's, yeah, it's like cryptocurrency. It's, it's Bitcoin. Bunch. It's oh, it's all okay. that shit. It's all, it's, once people believe something has value, it has value. The thing uh, is that, stupid. That's, that's what they should have did to the COVID. Bro, we the don't even know vaccine. what happens inside. You could go inside and there's nothing. You could go inside and it's just like the exit that way. And yep. then you just walk out. There's no party. There's no drinking. Have you ever heard a story from the Met Gala? Ain't never no pictures of no fire food. No, nah, they just it. make you walk upstairs. They make you work. They don't even anything. escalator. Right? There's no songs. There's no fucking DJ. Nothing. You walk in, you walk out the other side. I think the thing is stupid. I can't yeah. wait to get popping enough to not go to the to turn that shit down. Oh, right? Oh man. Oh yeah. Just get the get the what's it called the the invitation in the mail. Yeah. Uh-huh. And just put it on Instagram. Put a big put an outfit on to light it on fire. Like, what a, <laughs> I'm not even what a weird that. ass outfit. I'm definitely that guy. I'm that guy that's like, yeah. Oh yeah, I got invited to that. I'm not going, bro. Not going. Fuck Everybody that. excited to be there. I'm cool. Yeah. I'm at yeah. the house. Yeah. On an edible watching What If, living the life. Living the life. <laughs> okay. People feel like they make it when they go there. You know what I'm saying? Even uh, the Rock yes. Nation dinner. you like, I made it. You it's know a what I'm brunch. Saying? That's, that's the thing that I've noticed no. about like, <laughs> it's a brunch. It is a brunch. <laughs> Why are you saying the dinner? Rock Nation brunch. Whatever. You but that's what the thing I noticed about people is like, sometimes for celebrities, the people aren't enough for them. And the coolest thing about like, mm. at least... You know, my career, I think you would say this about your career as well, is that like it was made from the people first, not the industry. But the celebs are so tied into like what the industry is, like what industry event they should be at, which party they should be at can, which party they should be in New York. Like, oh, I need to make sure I'm in this thing. Exactly. So it's like they're being validated by these other celebrities. Right. And that's why a fucking Grammy or an Oscar means so much to them when the rest of us are like, nah, we just want to see the best movie. Like. I don't give a fuck if Matrix doesn't win an Oscar when it comes out. I'm going to see that shit because I like it. Exactly. Like, people go out to see Fast and Furious, it will never win an award ever. It will make mo- more money than all those motherfuckers that yeah. make awards. So, like, I'm validated by the people. I don't need a bunch of fucking douchebag celebrities to see me in a goofy outfit and go, you're cool. You're one of us. Yeah. I like walking down the street. You don't like none of the outfits? Say what? You ain't like none of the outfits? I ain't going to lie. I was talking to one of my homies yesterday. And this is, I, don't know, I don't know shit about fashion. Cause I love Kim Kardashian and shit. That shit looks fire. You believe that's actually dope. Kim? <laughs> what you think? You think it was Van Jones and Kanye came together? That was Van. <laughs> that was Van. That was Van. Van got the caboose, bro. Nah, you don't think Kim sent someone else? Like, that's what I would have done. You think? 
I, if I, I didn't want to go to the shit, I, I would have sent someone that looked like me to go dress like me. That's what I'll do to the fucking Met Gala. Yeah, if I get invited to the Met dope. Gala, that's fire. I thought that shit was fire. That shit is superheroish, bro. Like I saw people I just, saying I stuff like, like you can't see this, it. Like she looks batshit crazy, and I saw ah, somebody man. else say, "Is she going through something?" It's the goddamn Met Gala. Ain't the Met Gala like the Halloween of celebrities? Yeah, that's celebrity what I thought. Halloween, I thought it was bro. about wearing the wildest outfit. Like, yo, the, the point out Kim Most K and say Kim K looks crazy. Why do celebs need excuses to wear an outfit? I have no Just idea. Put it Who on. She Is that Kanye? That's Kanye. Well, that shit fire, bro. I don't, I, I, but I don't know shit about fashion, so don't ask me. I thought Kanye didn't go. I thought he wasn't with her no more. Well, what, well, they said that was oh, Kanye. Oh, they still dating? That's well, great. you know what? They did. Well, you know, that is a good question. We don't know if that's Kanye or not. We don't know if that's Kim either. <laughs> but I know one thing. We don't. Yeah, they just sent we other really people. Don't. So Duh. that's not Kanye knows. Exactly. That that's is me. a big ass nose, bro. That's that Andrew. Like me. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, <laughs> that's Andrew, was there. Andrew went to the Met Gala yeah. with Kim Kardashian that's impersonator. That's not Kim, and that's wow. not Kanye, and they're so smart to troll all them. That was it brilliant. Is. Great I, well, job. Either way, I like them outfits. I think them shit. That shit yeah, Kim got on. Out the way Why, that shit dope to me. Yeah. But guess what? Look what I got on right now. Yeah. All right? She's wearing your outfit. I'm dressed like a fucking stylish tomato. All right. <laughs> you're being generous with stylish. Stylish, I'm being generous. <laughs> a comfortable well, tomato. Yeah, thing. like a workout uh, tomato or something like that. I don't know. About stylish. I don't know, bro. But um, I mean, look at these fucking ridiculous ass. Maybe I don't we think like they this. look ridiculous. You know why I don't think they look ridiculous? Because of the go, context. Go, go, it's go the Met Russell. Gala. It, it didn't Russell go here? Russell who? Nah, Russell. he went to some shit in like France. Nah, Russell was, was there. Russell was there. What's the, what's, what's yeah, but the there? skirt, he wasn't uh, dressed in a skirt at the Met Gala. Oh, he no? had some shit like shaved into his head or whatever. Hey, like man, all I know is so it's dumb. the Met Gala. You're the, supposed to go. Sierra's outfit's so yeah. dumb. Look at this shit. You don't ah, like that? not dumb. Uh, she wearing her fucking husband's jersey. That's fire. Yo, you, know you don't want your you wife love... to wear your t-shirt? Not in a football. Like, a, you want your wife to dress up as a football? Like, that's you dope wife, right there. That's dope. That's do you want your wife man. to come home and she got like fucking headphones on and her laptop set up and reading Donkey Today? But it's it? the Met Gala. She repping for her man. I like yes, that that's shit. Why don't you invite your man? Dope. Get a plus one. Because it's the football season. Yes, he, he ain't working. Yes, he, he is. is. The season just started. When was it? He wasn't on Monday Night Football. He just now. I think he did. No, Seattle did just. Seattle played Sunday, right? They yeah. played Sunday. So he but he's done. They got to practice. No, he can't just fly out to New York. God, God forbid. Monday we got off. God what forbid mean? on your day off. You can't just go. I don't know if they have nah. days off during the, the week. Kids. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how the NFL shit works. Or maybe the Met Gala was Sunday. Met Gala no, was, it was yesterday, Monday, right? Yes, yesterday. Yeah, he could have made that shit. Nah, nah I don't think so. But you got you got mandatory practices and shit like that. Yeah. I like the fact he Sierra is. was repping her dude, man. Yo, I love I really, Jack I really Harlow. Jack that. Harlow, Jack Harlow's the man. Yeah, Jack ain't. You no see, joke. Jack. You know why he understand? This is how you got to operate within life. He was at the Met Ball. Yeah. Uh, oh wow, damn. Okay. So he is the man. So you look at you see how people are so enticed by this. <laughs> it's amazing. It's unbelievable. But no, I, I mean, I, I'm saying that because we know Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I know what this means but to people. But you didn't think he was the man before that? Of course I So why course. the fuck does it matter if he's in a bathroom at the Met Gal? That guy's the man because he's I your boy. I guess because it's the Met Gal. That's the thing. Like, <laughs> so, I'm like, but I'm like, my man, so I'm like my man like, at the Met Gal. Like, that's oh, your shit. boy. Like, you know what I mean? But you know what it is, though? What? All jokes aside, sometimes we take for granted how big our friends are. Especially when you've seen it come from the ground up. Because, like, yeah. to me, that's just Pete. But why does this make someone big? Like, other things he's done are way more impressive than this. I mean, clearly, like, having the, the garden. <laughs> but having the garden, like, people come out to the garden like that and organizing that dope. thing is way more. But we started the podcast off by giving them props on that. That's fire. But I don't, like, putting any value in this shit. That's stupid. I'm with you. I'm with you. It it is, is I mean, so but dumb, it is value right? in it, though. And you know what? Uh, that type of shit is the currency of being seen at this event is rewarded. The man. currency of this event is that everybody is not invited. Yeah, I don't man, like that. Is, is. I don't like that as currency. I never like currency meaning you can't be here. That's why it's cool because you, the regular person, isn't good enough. Yeah. I don't want to value anything as the regular person. But that's gonna make um, everybody want to do it. They should have did that. Yeah, did but that's that shit whack. With the, like motherfuckers. That that's, 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 that's what's vaccine. great. That's what's great about what we do. That's what's <clears> great about music. Music isn't great because it's like sorry, you can't listen to it. Music is great because the regular person, the rich person, the poor person, all vibes on like yo, this is the shit. Same thing with comedy. Like, I want to do comedy for the regular man. I could yeah. give a flying fuck if anybody at the Met Gala finds me funny. As long as when I'm walking down the street and there's a dude in a truck that just, yo, Schultz, what up? That's way better they, for me. They feel violated. I mean, This uh, is fraudulent. It's not real. This, 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 this literally, I wouldn't mind tricking if Little Nas you into X success. Me funny. Say what? 
I wouldn't mind if Lil Nas X found me funny. Well, I find him funny, so that yeah. way I value his funny, but I don't yeah. value him at the thing. Nah, I get what you're saying. I mean, but listen, here's the thing. It does have value. Exclusionary and that's value. Like, it's and, bullshit. And, 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 you know, when people post about it and people are seen there, you know, it, it's, 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 it, it, they're rewarded for being there. Like, just being seen on the red carpet at the Met Gala. You think MLK would have gone to the Met Gala? Yes. Fuck no. Yeah, he don't want to. That's the thing fly, he stands yeah. up against. Nah, he would have. MLK Jr.? He was going yeah. after the rich motherfuckers. Nah, he'd have been there. I'm trying to he, it, but, like, but integrate my people into a burning house. He would have had a meeting. He would have had a meeting with them, though. Nah, he'd have been, been there. He would have talked to the right person. That's why I came here for you. Nah, he, this is just the diner that talk. doesn't let black people eat, but it's not black people, it's poor people. It's mad poor people there, though. I mean, this shit is $30,000 a ticket. Who's poor? Who's poor? I said that. You just said it's no, mad I think poor I meant to say people black. there. I didn't mean to say that. Who's I meant to poor? say it's mad black people there. But I heard it's $30,000 a ticket. You just assumed I ticket. said black and poor? No, I heard you say, you said, I don't know what the fuck you said. That's all good. I really didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the one thing I don't understand is that they eat dinner inside and they have all these weird ass costumes. How do they even sit down and have so They take that shit off. They take that shit off and they, they, get, they get inside. It's yeah. for the carpet. I saw people wearing two or three different outfits on the carpet. So the moment they get inside, they just take the shit off? They, they dress like Charlotte. Uh-huh. Alex, to be honest with you, I don't know fucking yeah, nobody. Do I look knows. like I've ever been in the goddamn Met Gala? That's a lot of... Uh, Who's Pete yeah. sitting with? Let me see. Click on that. That's they Pete. They got a bounce house in there. That's what they got. Ah, uh, Pete with Erica Badu. That's fire. Yeah, Erica. I don't know anybody else person. in this shit. I see Erica Badu. That's Uzi right Davis there. You know Uzi? That's Uzi? Is that Uzi? Yeah. Yeah, that's Uzi. Uzi, Erica. Who on the other side? I don't know. That's a lady. Uh, that's a real you can't sit with us table, bro. <laughs> like, that's what that is, bro. That's Yo, you do. You going. The dude. second you get invited, you going, bro. I can't wait to say no. <laughs> Yo, copy paste this shit right Please here. Please copy yeah. and paste. Copy it. paste this shit right here. Please copy and paste. This it. is your prenup. Now, let me not put myself in a box. <laughs> yeah, see? 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 All right. See? Let me not put myself Anna in a box. And I went to her listening to this shit right now. Like, yeah, let me oh, not put okay. Myself, let me not put okay, myself I in a box. Right okay, I'm about to have a hit talk show, okay? I'm not... You might see me oh pop up at one of these. God, you know why? 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 Why, bro? Like, come nah, on, I really man. don't know. I don't know. Like, Stop, Maybe bitch. just for the outfit. You want wear the outfit? Wear an outfit, whatever you want. Why Why they got to tell you when to wear some cool shit? I wear cool a puma suit and have the ass cut out like Prince. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I walk yeah, in front yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> that shit don't be fire. Oh, no, no. I don't, don't know, party bro. yourself. Do it. I don't. Get I don't it. fucking know. I don't, I don't know. I don't like that shit. Uh, what else? Let's do one more tale and get the fuck out of here. I feel you though. I'm with you 100. percent Like you know, I I look at that shit. I was actually on the phone with one of the homies yesterday, and they were. They they actually want to go in a real way, and I don't see it. And I'm like, but I couldn't. Can I couldn't, you tell me who? No. But I couldn't knock them because they're no into ways. fashion. I like, they're it. really, 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 really into fashion. So I couldn't knock them. So I'm like, okay, but that's just not my thing. You well, know what? Just wear the outfit. Why you need to wear that's it That's what there? I said. I said, Halloween why don't you just put the outfit on up. and take pictures? Because for me, and, 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 I, and, I, and I actually said this to them. I'm like, yo, I enjoyed going to the shit at the garden Sunday. Yeah. Why? Because I value comedy. You yeah, value fashion. So you wouldn't want to be at the Met Gala. I value Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr. Pete Davidson, John Stewart, it's Attell, yep. Wanda Sykes. Yep. I value that. That's what intrigues me. That's how I want to go spend my time. I go to comedy shows. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I like to do. So I couldn't knock them. They in the fashion. I'm in the comedy. You know, if the if the Met Gala was some comedy driven shit, mm-hmm. we probably won't be there. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe we should do our own. Nah, they probably I'm got not gonna do it as a rejection of that. <laughs> it's not. You not. That's not gonna motivate, motivate me to do anything. Why we can't have a, like they used to have the players ball? Why not have like a funny ball? Players ball is fire. Funny ball. I think Chappelle fire. actually did that. Like I think he would on his show. No, no, he did a uh, block party. No, he did like he did a block Martin party, but then he'll, he'll do like a, an event that like comedians will go to. I think it's pretty cool. Why man. not? Yeah, it's, it's fire. Dope. Why not? All right, let's do one more tale and get the fuck out of here. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What's done? Oh, this is a good one. Let's end on this one. Bazer Tinsel says, Oh, yeah. Shout out to Bazer. What's done more good and which has done more harm? Religion or politics? Mm. Politics is the worst thing. Yes. There's nothing worse than politics. Politics is the worst thing that's ever existed. And um, and I'm going to quote my boy Dave Smith on this. He had a, he had a, a really interesting thing to say. And he goes, 
two religious people can sit next to each other and they literally believe the other person is going to burn for an eternity in hell, right? Mm -hmm. But they're friends. They can love each other. They can dap each other up. Everything's cool. The second you introduce politics, Sucks. those people... How dare you believe? How dare you support that guy? How dare how dare you support Trump? How dare you support Biden? They're not even addressing the fact that they yeah. think the other person is going to burn in hell for an attorney. That's totally fine without politics. Yeah. The second you introduce politics, there is a fucking line drawn in the sand, and you're an animal, and I'm a good person, etc. Mm -hmm. Politics it it yeah, so. inspires this tribalism that you would think religion does, but mm -hmm. even the places where there's like incredible religious turmoil. That's politically driven. Yeah. The mm -hmm. politics yeah. is being put on the religion and they're using the religion as the wedge. It's even politics. Even in America. Always the worst. Weapon, man. Always the worst. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, even in America, they use politics in for you know, they use the Bible to push silly ass legislation. Exactly. The Bible ain't doing it. Yeah. Right? It's, it's the politicians. It's, it's the politicians yeah. and the political groups going, oh, I bet we could manipulate these religious people. Yeah. They yeah. really believe in God. Let's mm -hmm. pull at their heartstrings a little bit and get them to freak the fuck out at what we want them to freak the fuck out at so they could vote for us. Politics is the worst. Yeah, the worst they, manipulation what is, of mankind. What is religion? Ever. Religion is just something that you religiously do. Like, Son, oh. we all agree on 90% of religion. Yeah. Everybody agree. Hey, don't kill each other. Don't fuck each other's right. wives. You know, don't be good. Be, be good a good to, person. Be a good yeah. person. But Try if you to religiously help, like, do that. That's when you're religious. People think religious is, oh, I love Jesus or I love the Bible. Yeah. No, religious is something that you really do for a long time. I religiously pray. Yes. I religiously love God. You know what I'm saying? But if, as soon as I stop doing that, I'm not religious no more. But I, yeah. he's, he's specifically talking about organized religion. So he's talking about. Christianity, Catholics, Jehovah Witness, Muslim. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. I, I agree. It's 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 politics definitely, definitely politics worse. and it's, it's yes. not even close. Because at least you, yeah. at least with religion, you have a moral compass to a certain extent, right? At least you're yes. trying to follow yes. some type of moral compass. Yes. Politicians, absolutely not. Yeah. They care about what their politics lie, are. Lie, lie, I mean, lie. Hitler wasn't religious. Keep that in mind. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, it wasn't yeah, religion yeah, that inspired yeah. him to do all that shit. He wasn't religious. I'm going to be yeah. honest with you. I know nothing about that, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm saying literally yeah. doing the same thing. I know nothing about this guy. I mean, you know a little about him. I, I mean, I know Hitler what he's yeah, saying. You're not going like to name your kid person. Adolf. You know enough. Nah, right now, you know? Christopher Columbus and Hitler are the same thing. I will not tell you them apart. Same person. Right. Same person. Right. <laughs> we done here? I think we're done. As always, if yeah. you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening and make sure you watch The God's Honest Truth this Friday, 10 p.m. Yes. on Comedy yeah. Central. Peace. Peace.